Actually, with Charleston White, we do the Charleston White. Yeah. Help the boot. Yeah, you Charleston High, Charleston uh, White help the boot with the uh, no flat. Yeah, obviously it's the uh, yeah. it's a game of the game. From the Max 500 videos. Ik heb altijd overal tussendoor gekocht te zetten. Shalom, shalom. Ik ben er gecheckt. Er zit even iets op die comment board wat ik gezet heb. Om te kijken of dat werkt. Hoor je wat. Best of shalom. Fuck some money coming up. Hey, you people, I love you people, man. Ja? Ja, you know me from here. Hi man, I'm Roberto. Yo man. Nice to meet you. Yo man. Yes, huh? Ja toch. Of course, hey. I'm both too, man. <laughs> ja, dat is goed man. Ja. Oh, ik praat gewoon Nederlands. Ja, ik praat Nederlands. Ja, okay. We gaan nu uh, gewoon beginnen met fietsen. Ja. Voor de mensen op uh, internet toch? Is goed. Als je vragen hebt of zo, dan uh, Zeker, kan je het stellen. Dank je wel. Kan, shalom. We're the Hebrew Israelites. Come in week in and week out to prophesy the downfall of this wicked kingdom. But before we start, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Chakodesh. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Nosso for teaching us the truth and who rule well. Peace and citations unto the Akim that is spread around the four corners of the earth. Spreading this word in sincerity and in truth. Shalom. 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 Yeah, man, let's go into uh, Habakkuk 1. Verse 5, I believe. Embrace. Because our people are spread across the four winds of the earth, man. Our people are all over the place. You know, they have uh, your phone. Okay, go to <laughs> Tobit 13. Come. Uh, you can read 1 verse 5. This is Habakkuk chapter 1 and verse 5. Behold ye among the heathen and regard and wonder marvelously, for I will work a work in your days which ye will not believe though it be told you yeah man so it says behold ye among the heathen and who's that stock talking about that's talking about the israelites the israelites that are among the heathen <laughs> because the most high he had scattered us you know like it says in uh, what was it deuteronomy deuteronomy um 32 26 god if you can grab that because we didn't follow the law that you said commandments of the most high we didn't follow the most high with all um uh yeah joy in heart you know, we went off, we went to these other nations, their gods, and time and time again, you know, the Most High had to correct us. You know, like in the time of Judges, the Most High would put up a judge for us. We would follow uh, the ways of the Most High, and then after a while, we would uh, fall back and fall fall after, after these gods, follow these gods of these other nations. You know, so the Most High caused us to be spread among these heathen nations. You, you like these heathen nations, right? So, here you go. Great. Mm -hmm. um, this is uh, Deuteronomy chapter 32 and verse 26. I said, I would scatter them into corners. I would make the remembrance of them to cease from among men. Yeah, man. So this is what the Most High did. The Most High, he took us and then he scattered us across the four winds of the earth among the, the heathens. That's why it says in Habakkuk um, 1 verse 5, ye among the heathen. You know? Um, Precept um, on the Habakkuk 1 and 5. Read the, the Deuteronomy again, Bapusha, because something was in my mind, but then it. This is Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 26. I said, I would scatter them into corners. I would make the remembrance of them to cease from among men. Yeah, Jeremiah 17, 17 and 4. It's the, it's the Most High's bidding, man. It's the Most High's will. He wanted us to be scattered across the four corners of the earth, and then He took our heritage from us. You know, and that also goes into uh, Psalms 83. If you can grab that, this is Jeremiah chapter 17 and verse 4. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee, and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not, for ye have kindled a fire in mine anger which shall burn forever. Okay, go to what was it? Um, Second Thessalonians 2 with the uh, falling away. It's because the most high did this. The most high he was the he's the power that caused us to be spread across the four corners of the earth, caused us to lose our heritage because in the other captivities that we were, you know, in the Babylonian captivity, Assyrian captivity, uh Medo-Persian captivity, Greek captivity, that's when it started to, you know, 
uh, we started to lose our heritage. No, not there actually. After the, the Roman Empire came back. You know, that's where, because we were also rulers in, in uh, Europe. We kind of knew about who we were, but still, we were still uh, um, called Moors, you know? We were mingling the, um, how you call it? The pagan. Roman, yeah, the Roman uh, pagan um, customs with the scriptures. But now, after the transatlantic slave trade, we got destroyed completely, you see? So it's the Most High's will. The Most High made us to lose our heritage. And what did he do? He put all these nations, which we like, which we uh, <coughs> wanted to go to, we wanted to go to their gods. He, he put it in their spirit to um, hate us, mm. you know, yes, to Psalm. come against us. Psalms 83? Done. The book of Psalms, chapter 83, verse 2. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. You see? So a tumult is, is for example, here you have, um, it's not Feyenoord, this is uh, Ajax Stadium, you know, so when there's a, a football match, they make a tumult. They're roaring, you know, they're screaming, they're, they're making uh, all kinds of sounds. That's a tumult. So the people that hate thee, so the Most High says that these people, they're going to hate you, you know. You, we love them, but they hate us. So, uh, but yeah, that's what we wanted, our forefathers wanted. They wanted to go after these gods, so this is what you get. So they that hate thee, God, they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. Yeah, so the Most High is the one that put it in their mind to come up with this crafty counsel, you know? Because the Most High, he uses men of the world to, to do his bidding. He doesn't come with his with his hand out of the out of heaven, you know, out of the, the other dimension to to put pieces. But actually, he does. He does, but you don't see it. You know, it's it's a, it's a other dimension that the Most High and uh, works on. You know, so he sends his, his angels and he sends uh, the left hand side uh, demons also. You know, to do the bidding, just like how a, a chess player, you know, he plays chess with his hands that's how the most high he also used these uh, kings and these other nations like um pions Spon uh, pawns you know so the most high put it in their mind uh, according to uh, daniel what was it daniel, daniel 4 17 or psalms chapter 17 yeah give me the daniel book sure. or with whichever one you have so you see this is all um the master plan of the Most High, you know? If you don't understand it, then, you know, you, it's hard to, to figure out what the Most High did, actually. They always say that the Most High works in mysterious ways. So, here are the prophets, they are telling you how the Most High works. We're, we're telling you how the Most High plans things out and how he prophesies about what's going to happen, you know? You have to have guidance, you have to have men that know about this truth to, to um, explain it. You see? Daniel's Psalms. This is Daniel's chapter 4, verse 17. This matter is by the decree of the watchers and the demand by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know that the Most High ruleth in the kingdom of man and giveth it to whomsoever he will and set it up over it the basest of man. Yeah, see, so it's the Most High, He rules in the kingdom of men. And He set up kings and He takes down kings. And who did He set up now? The basis of men. And who's the basis of men? According to Job 30, it's Esau. You know, he's a base man, viler than the earth. You see? Got a quick first step if I can quickly grab it. Yeah, yeah this is uh, Psalms chapter 75 and verse 6. For promotion cometh neither from the east nor from the west nor from the south but the most high is the judge he put it down one and set it up another yeah beautiful man that's what the most high does the most high he he changes the the, the rulers you know and in this case esau is the ruler right now this is the last um nation that's going to rule over us and that's when the tides are going to change and <laughs> the most high is going to cause israel to be um ruling 
it's gonna be the most highest empire, you know? So no. going back, you had other ones on this topic? I have yeah, seen. on the hand that you was referring to. Mm -hmm. This is Psalms chapter 17, starting at, starting at verse 13. Arise, O Lord Jehovah, disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword, from men which are thy hand, O Lord Jehovah, from men of the world which have their portion in this life, and whose belly thou fillest with thy hid treasures, they are full of children, and leave the rest of their substance to their babes. Yeah, man, so this is what the Most High does. The Most High, he uses men as his hand, you know, as a whipping stick mm. for the wicked. Uh, protect me from the wicked, which is thy sword, you know? <laughs> so the wicked, who are the wicked? According to, what was it, Job, Job 9, you know, the hand, the, the world is given into the hand of the wicked. You have these. Beautiful. This is Job chapter 9, verse 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. So who is the ruling class right now? Who? Is is uh, has all these banking, um, uh, yeah, these banks. Who has all these banks? Which nation on the planet Earth? You can't say that it's an Israelite. You can't because you see Jay Z and uh, Kanye West, Kyrie Irving, all these men. They have money, but they don't have money like that. They can't print money. You know, they get the money from these uh, Amalekites. Mm -hmm. Amalekites. Yeah. All these record labors are owned by uh, by Amalek. Some people yeah. don't understand that if. Uh, <laughs> 250 million dollars a year it's an easy job to pay man just for these guys like yeah, yo, yeah. I'll, I'll take it man you want more take it mm. so that's these people they don't imagine how filthy rich these people are yeah, or they, claim to be they make money yeah you know so so they have the banks so they don't have these um normal worries that we have like yeah. hey oh, shit i gotta pay rent oh shit i gotta eat yeah. i gotta eat uh, healthy you know oh shit that that's even more money, so you, you take the, the, the best from the worst. No, man, these people, they don't have stress like that. Like what we have, you see? So, protect me from the wicked, which is thy sword. And we already know that's the, the, the so-called white man and the chief tribe of the so-called white man uh, is Amalek, you know? So they are the ones that are uh, pulling these, these strings behind the presidents and, and all these uh, political parties. You know, you think that you have, um, on the one hand, you have uh, the, the Democrats, and on the other hand, you have the Republicans. And if you choose one of them, you know, that the situation is gonna change. It doesn't matter, you know? Just like it says in, uh, what was it, Revelation? Let me grab it real quick. Revelation 12. 11 with the ones? <clears throat> yeah. 11. Or, no. I thought it was 12, let me see. I have a scripture. Amen. 13. It was 13. Revelation 13, verse 11. And I beheld another beast, which that other beast is America, coming up of the earth, out of the earth. And he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon. So these two horns, they represent the Republicans and the Democrats, you know? And he looks like a lamb. But he's a, he's basically a dragon because he comes with draconian laws, you see, like it says in uh, Isaiah 10, you know, and also in the book of Psalms he comes with uh, grievous laws. But just to stay on the topic. Uh, the the, uh, the beast is referring to um, uh, the revived Roman Empire, basically the Roman Empire. God, God, no matter. So it's the revived Roman Empire. Yeah. And also he comes with soft words, the yeah. war is in his heart. Yes, that's true. Uh, one the Isaiah 10, eh? Uh, yeah. Are you the Psalms? What you have to read? 13? I got him not to follow, but I got him to pack it. Can you the Isaiah pack it for you? Yeah, man, because once you know how the Most High works, then you're going to be more at ease. You know, because people... I remember when, when I came into the truth, you know, I wanted to... I wanted to uh, do something about the situation. You want to change the situation because you see wickedness uh, running rampant. But once you come into this truth, you know, um, like it says in Ecclesiastes 1 and 18, the more you know, the more grief you get, you know. And Ecclesiastes 7 and 7 also says that uh, oppression maketh the wise man mad. 
So all these feelings, you get these feelings, you know, you, you learn more about the scriptures, you learn about what the, this uh, so-called white man did, Esau. So you get stirred up, but then you also have the scriptures which say, um, don't let uh, the sun fall down on, on your, your wrath. wrath, you know. The Most High is going to fight for you. So that calms you down also. But you have to go through this roller coaster of emotions just to uh, understand how the Most High works. You see? Which one do you want first, Isaiah or I, the... Uh, Isaiah, Isaiah 1, uh, 10. This is Isaiah chapter 10 and verse 1. Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees and that write grievousness which they have prescribed. Yeah, man, so the ones that write uh, grievousness <laughs> and, and um, these, these decrees that they make, you know, you saw it two years ago. Two years ago, they came with laws, so you have to follow these laws. You know, you have to stick something, a Q-tip in your nose, you know. These, these men, yeah. these men, they have been put there from the Most High to, to do his bidding. So you see that he comes with draconian laws. He comes with um, these, a snake tongue to, to uh, catch you up in his snares. That's how this man works. Mm -hmm. You know, he lays snares and then he catches you with it. If you go into that word, uh, if you go into that word grievousness, if you look that up in the Farlex dictionary, it also goes into causing fear and anxiety, and that's what they've been doing, man. With all these laws that they put forth, yeah, you know, you can't go to the supermarket without this, you know, application, without this, that, and the third. Yeah, QR what? codes. Exactly, man. Because the people are afraid to lose their house, not being able to provide for their family, like you know. So because of that. They're causing fear, and because of the fear, they're able to, to basically do things, man. Yeah, they control you. They control you by fear. Yeah, that's true. So, um, the grievous laws pertaining to Revelation, you know, they come with... They come with draconian laws, you know, they, they, they're grievous for these people. But that's how you see this man is wicked, you know. He, he, he always comes with uh, schemes and snares just to, to forward his agenda. Yeah. And what is his agenda ultimately? Uh, the New World Order. But yeah, uh, not to go too, too deep into that, let's go back to um, the Psalms with the wicked, that the Most High, he uses so, men. Can I add a little bit to it? Because oh. I saw that it uh, was on Redacted, mm -hmm. that uh, news channel <coughs> stuff, but that independent news channel. Yeah. They said that uh, there's like in every state of the United States right now, mm -hmm. uh, Demanding the students, so the colleges in these uh, 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 the students in these colleges needs to be need to be uh, uh, vaccinated, and that's maybe like uh, I saw the list. There's maybe like four or five states yeah. that are that have that that, that don't uh, uh, apply to it, so they don't uh, demand uh, their people to do it. Wow. And I was thinking like, okay, so they got the whole world in that that, that World Cup shit right now. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, you know in the English career? Uh, distraction. Yeah, distraction. Because yeah. when you when you when you when you turn on the news, it's all about the 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 one love wristband, or yeah, yeah, yeah. you know. Yeah. So they distract the people in the meantime. They're doing that shit. Yeah, they they uh, pushing their their laws and agenda. You know. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, That's what they do. Uh, they give uh, people bread and circus so that the people are focused on that. Yeah, man. That's yeah. what I wanted to go into, yeah. But not, that's just what I wanted to point out. It's the bread and circus. Yeah. yeah. You often say that which is being shown in the media, you have to look behind that to see what they're doing, you know, behind closets, man. Yeah. Man. What is the thing that they don't want you to see or know about, but doing at the same time? <laughs> that's the time that you're about, actually, you have to look at these uh, executive orders and stuff like that, you know, when, when, the whole world is focused on uh, a certain event. You gotta go and check uh, the laws and the uh, legislations that they're that they're pulling, man. <laughs> this is Psalms chapter 17 and verse 13. Arise, O Lord Yahweh, disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. Yeah, so the wicked is the sword of the Most High. That's that's the whipping stick of the Most High. That's what the Most High uses to correct Israel, you know, because of our transgressions, the transgressions of our forefathers. Go ahead. Verse 14. From men which are thy hand, O Lord Yahweh, from men of the world which have their portion in this life 
and whose belly thou fillest with thy hid treasure. You see, so in this life they have their portion. That's why um, also Habakkuk, what we are going into, he was seeing the, the wicked prosper, you know. But this is their time to, to live it up, you know. They, they say, uh, YOLO. You only live once so that's how these elites think that's how the people of the world think you know that's that's what they're pushing but a spiritual man he knows that you have something like a reincarnation and that you have to keep your yourself um clean and pure you know but these people they think oh we only live once so we might as well do what the hell we want what the hell we feel like i have that precept yeah, for you the brother too, it was the of Solomon. Yeah, of Solomon, yeah. you have it you have it now read it. Okay. <laughs> I, wait. <laughs> I have to find it now. Wisdom of Solomon 2, 1 and 3. Because uh, yeah, yeah. we're speaking about the elites, right? The elites, they are the wicked. You know, they are the modern day Chaldees. The Chaldeans, the, the ones that uh, put spells and incantations on, upon people. You know, they push these uh, rap videos, these rappers and this music. They put uh, spells upon our people. There are people who think that they're thugs and that they're uh, um, you know they have to be tough yeah 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 shalom shalom yeah shalom yeah shalom yeah shalom yeah shalom yeah shalom yeah man so they these are the the modern day uh, sorcerers you know hey can you tell me what's happening yeah they're in though yeah 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 um for here's it have you done wisdom of solomon chapter 2 verse 1 for the ungodly said reasoning with themselves sorry for the ungodly said reasoning with themselves but not aright our life is short and tedious and in the death <coughs> of a man there is no remedy neither was there any man known to have returned from the grave you see the ungodly said that and these people they're contrary unto god unto the most high unto yahweh bashem yahushai they serve satan you know so that's what they they come with that uh, alistair crawly uh, spirit you know uh, do as thou wilt you see because the same scripture says reasoning within themselves but not a right so the th what they're thinking is incorrect yep. because mm -hmm. there's such a thing as, as reincarnation and the elites know that's why they intermingle within themselves to keep that money that they have among their own yeah mm -hmm. they, they only go keep it in the same bloodline because they know they have mm -hmm. all the records they document yep. everything i just wanted to say yeah. that yeah man. so the next generation knows yeah uh, come here my son show you Go ahead, was, was that everything? Oh no, first two. For we are born at all adventure, and we, sh and we shall be thereafter as though, we have never, as, as though we had never been. For the breath in our nostrils is as smoke and a little spark in the moving of our heart, uh, which, which being extinguished, our body shall be turned into ashes and our spirit shall vanish as the soft air. Yeah, but that, that's not correct because our your spirit goes on and goes to the Most High which gave it and then it comes back refreshed, you know. So that's why what the brother said, they, they um, ponder within themselves, but not a right, it's not correct. You know, so these uh, ungodly men, what do they do? If you read down the chapter, they take a closer look at the godly men. So, hey, what, what is he going to say? You know, how does the Most High work? How does he uh, uh, function? You know, go ahead. Now, verse 4, and our name shall be forgotten in time, and no man shall have our works in remembrance. And our life shall pass away as a trace of a cloud and shall be dispersed as a mist that is driven away with the beams of the sun and overcome with the heat thereof. Yeah, man. So that's what these, uh, these people think, the ungodly. But the elites, they know, you know. Um, Psalms. Second Psalms, uh, first 14. I think that was done, right? From the wicked, which is thy sword. Yeah, but that goes into their portion and uh, the children yeah. of all the, leave the substance to, to the their babes. babes yeah. Yeah, you want to read it? Yeah. This is Psalms chapter 17, verse 14. From men which are thy hand, O Lord Yahweh, from men of the world which have their portion in this life, and whose belly thou fillest with thy hid treasure, they are full of children and leave the rest of their substance to their babes. Yeah, like what we are going into. They keep it within uh, their bloodline. You know, they leave this, these things, their, their substance to their babes. You know, you might think that, for example, um, the, the king, he married a, a foreigner, that he, he married a, 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 a woman from another nation. But if you go down the line, that you, that you see that it's uh, still royal bloodline, it's the royal Dutch bloodline. You know, because she's a, a far uh, niece, cousin, cousin of him. 
you know so they they know they keep the records and then it might look like they're different families different nations but then still they marry into their their own man so they leave the substance within the the family within their 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 nation their bloodline also there was this kid and i believe he was from america a young child and he was able to connect all the dots between these presidents man and all these presidents are related man even barack obama was related yeah. to uh, to i believe uh, uh bush and uh, i don't know if it was trump as well but they was they was related man yeah you know so uh, george w bush is also uh grandson of alexander crowley or something yeah those 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 those, those type of rumors are out there yeah i don't know can't confirm that but like Zelensky, I also read like the Zelensky that he's also, uh, you know, from their their bloodline, you know, that he's just a puppet, just like how you have, but yeah, that, that's something else. <coughs> uh, Fogab Malone, Fogab Malone, he's one of them white hats, you know, just to send to, to bring uh, confusion, you know, so they, they keep the records and it looks like they're different people, like it's a different <coughs> president or it comes from another angle. But it's still the same people that are running the show, man. Yeah, because what they actually do is they, um, they they have a thesis and an antithesis. So they have two opposites, but they don't want the first one and they don't want the second one. So what they do is they create a friction between those parties to eventually create something else that they do want. So that's the same thing with that New World Order, with the, you know, the, the, the Israelites against the uh, rest of the nations or put the so-called white people against the, the Mexicans and things like that, you know, to create friction. And then they want to create order out of chaos, man. Yeah. So they have two scenarios and they both control both sides. Yeah. Same with the brother set with the uh, the two horns, with the lamb, you know, that was uh, basically a spake, what was it? A spake as a lamb. No, 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 it was a lamb, but spake as a dragon. Yeah, spake as a dragon, which that goes into the docile nature of these politicians, docile. But meanwhile, they come with these, these harsh laws but they're the same, the same entity, man. Being controlled by both sides. Thinking you got options, things to choose from. Meanwhile, nah, man. They offer you what you can choose. You don't have your own free will. Exactly. They analyze the situation when there's, there's chaos. They're like, oh, okay, these people, they go in the route that we designed for them. But then there's something happening over there that we have to take control of that, you know? So they come with a controlled opposition, you know? So they put a puppet there. They give them a lot of truth because these people there, they're, they're all in the lies they're all uh, you know under their spell but these people they're kind of woke you know so they need a leader so we're gonna <laughs> give them a leader you know for example like this uh, FA day here in Holland you have this political party Forum for Democracy yeah in the beginning I liked it like hey he's, he's the only one that's going against Rutte going against everything but then after a while you see with the black feet and he's all I'm like nah man this, this man uh, he's also a controlled puppet you know because they know that the, the way uh, the world's been steered into late la last 15 years. People are kind of woke. That's why we got the whole wokeism from. People yeah. know that hey, shit, shit is wrong. They don't know this, but they know some things, some about, things up, yeah. about the unjust in the world. So these elites, they had to use those things to, just to let the people think like, yo, look, look there's still an option here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And they did that their shit. benefit. Yeah. Yeah, they come with uh, a lot of truth, you know, so the people that think that they're woke they uh, flock to that like hey i didn't know this you know they 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 come with a the base yeah not basis the, the fundamental knowledge of, of certain things but then they add secrets that they didn't know like hey this guy he, he he's deep you know yeah. but meanwhile he's being fed from uh, these, these elites you know they call such uh, people gatekeepers yeah they uh they only allow you to know a certain amount of information but they also have, but they also put lies and deceit in there, man. You know, things that might be incorrect. Back in the days before the truth, you know, I, hey, I'm just gonna say it. I was looking into flat earth because back then, you know, you're trying to look for things, but they also spoke about certain things concerning Illuminati and things like that, which that was the truth. Yeah. Then they put the lie in there to keep it interesting because the scripture says, that a strange woman is sweet. We went with Naka. Dar. I don't know. I think it. Shalom. Black Friday, I think. I don't know. So, where, where, where was I? 
um, yeah, the flat earth and they yeah. take certain truths. And they also mix the lie in there, man, because that strange woman is sweet. You'd be like, hey, that's interesting, man. It keeps you interested and, you know, but then once the most I, you know, as it says, that we not be too tossed to and fro no more because we receive the truth and we get a strong foundation. They'd be like, nah, man, that's it. That ain't it, that ain't it, that ain't it. That was deceived then, mm -hmm. but that was being taken out of it, and now you got the truth, man. Yeah. It's like that that, uh, that documentary we call Side Guys. Side Guys. They give a lot of truth, but they, uh, uh, how do you say it? Uh, when you say something is not in existence, uh, they, deny, they, 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 deny, they, they, they deny the existence of your Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that, that 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 documentary that goes into the comparison between all these other nations and their uh, mythology and philosophy and compare it to... Uh... Uh, it goes into uh, September 11, the oh. bankers, elite bankers, uh, how, how their schemes work, basically. Mm. It was one of the first like early YouTube documentaries. I think I saw it, but I, I forgot about it, Side Guys. I heard of it, I think I... I cried the first time I saw it, man. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hit like, you. What? We are controlled. We're puppets. What? <laughs> Tears roll down my eye. Like, man, we're gonna kill these motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> See? That's that roller coaster that you go in. You know, you go, you go, you feel that you're being controlled. You see that, for example, um, the Illuminati, they give people like uh, Jay Z, Beyonce, you know, they give them the, the stage, the podium, and that they get money. You know, but after a while, you're like, hey, if this exists, then also uh, light and the most high exists ah. because the, sat the, the Satanism is not being hid anymore. You know, you can just see uh, the church of Satan, they get statues, they get a church, you know, people openly uh, worship him. Mm. So th these are the end times, man. It's the end of the world, you know, and if you go into that word world, it's the end of the age, which is it's, uh, Esau's rulership. It's Esau's ruling age that is going to come to an end. Mm. Yeah, the Psalms, and you had the Psalms uh, 83. Psalm 17 was, uh, was done. Yeah, it was done. No. I, I do have Psalm 64, the secret cause of the wicked, because you mentioned the Illuminati. Yeah. This is uh, Psalms chapter 64 and verse 1. Hear my voice, O Yahweh, in my prayer, preserve my life from fear of the enemy. Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked. From the insurrection of the workers of iniquity. Yeah, so the secret council, the secret councils that they have are in the Bohemian Grove, you know. They go to these, they have houses where you think that are, uh, nobody lives at, hello, you know. Hello, 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 yeah. hello, hello. So these, these are the secret councils that they keep against the people of the Most High, ultimately. You know, they, they think about uh, ways to snare the people up, to give them uh, um, bread and circus and to, uh, how do you call it, what we just said, distract the people, you know, so that they can forward their agenda. Divide and conquer. Divide and conquer. And ultimately, they're going to bring everybody together under that banner of the new world order. You see? First, yeah. what we done? That, that was it. Give me the um, Psalm 83, Bob Kusha. Oh, oh. <laughs> you want me to read from the slide again? Yeah. So, so now we know that um, the Most High, He is the one that caused us to lose our heritage. He put up the, the kings who are the ruling kings right now, who are the, the ones that keep these secret councils. You know, who are the wicked, you know, which is Esau. And also a, a, part, a couple of these other nations, you know, they're in on it. For example, when we come here, when we go to a different country, we can't just start up a business. But these Chinese, they can. Because uh, Esau and Moab, which the, the Chinese man is called the, the Moabite, he, they, those two, you know, the Moabite, he looks up to Esau. You know, he copies everything from Esau. If you look at his cities, if you look at his cities, this is just a copy of uh, New York. It's a copy of America. Skyscrapers. You know? Yeah. So that's what uh, the brother is gonna read. You have Esau. He's the wicked, but the other nations they also joined onto him. It's the book of Psalms, chapter 83, verse 2. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up their head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. 
for they have consulted together with one consent, they are confederate against thee. The tabernacles, the tabernacles of Edom. See, the verse starts off with Esau, with Edom. You know, he's the one that is in, in rulership right now. He's the, the, the class that is going to be uh, taken down, you know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the tabernacles of Edom and the Ishmaelites of Moab and yeah, the Hagarim. The Ishmaelites, the Ishmaelites also had a hand in this uh, transatlantic slave trade, you know? Mm -hmm. They had a big hand in it. Mm -hmm. You see? They would take uh, um, our people, put them upon ships, and also the ones that were left, you know, they, they scattered them in, in uh, Europe also because they had a transatlantic uh, slave trade to, to ship our people to uh, North America, Middle America, and uh, South America. But you also had the ones that they kept here as slaves, you know. And also had the, the Arab slave trade. Right? Yeah. It's also there. Done. The tabernacles of Edom and the Ishmaelites of Moab and the Hagarines, Gabal and Am Am and Ammon. Yeah, Ammon, which are which are the, these uh, Japanese uh, people. And uh, the Philist uh, and Amalek. Amalek, which is the head tribe of Esau. You know, Esau also has tribes, just like how you have uh, Israel, the Israelites. But within Israel, you have twelve tribes, and uh, Amalek is one of those tribes. The Philistines with the inhabitants of Tyre. Uh, the Tyre. Philistines, Tyre. which is these uh, Africans, lot, you know, yeah. but not the modest, modern day, um, um, how do you call it, Phil Philistines, Palestinians. no? Palestinians. No, they just took their nationality and ran with it. Mm -hmm. You know, these, these so called uh, Palestinians. The, the Philistines are uh, Kushites, they come from, from Ham. These are these. Uh, ISCC guys on the left. So, so uh, they robbed the Philistines, the Africans, from their nationality, and they are fighting for for that land, Israel, right now. You want to say something? Yeah. Re recently, I had a conversation with uh, with a guy from the Middle East, and uh, if I remember it correctly, he mentioned that you know only around the year 600, 700, 800, that's when these people came into the land. So I asked him like, yeah, but who were there before you? You know, who, who, who were there before those people that called themselves Palestinians? And he, you know, he really, he really couldn't answer, man. But the scriptures explain us that prior to us coming into the land, it was the Canaanites. But that region, you know, was given as a heritage unto Shem. And to be more specific, it was given unto the Israelites, man. So could Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You yeah. see, it belongs unto us, not unto the heathen nations. Yeah. Yeah, man. Uh. Ashur is Ashur also is joined with them. They have helped the children of Lot, Salah. Yeah. So all these nations they took crafty counsel against us. You know, that's how our heritage um, got lost. You know? Ultimately it's the most high cost these men to put it in their minds to to, to uh to destroy us. You know? So that we lose our heritage, so that we don't call upon the names Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. But now, you know, the truth, it, it came back, you know, starting with Abba Bivens, as it says in uh, Malachi 3, you know, he brought the truth back in the 1970s, you see? So let's go back to, oh yeah, yeah. The I, had a, I had a beautiful precept, man, because he was going into how, you know, it's the most high that, you know, basically sets up and puts down and caused us to go into slavery. But these nations, they're going to know that too, man. This is Ezekiel chapter 39, verse 23. And the heathen shall know that the house of Israel went to captivity for their iniquity, because they trespassed against me. Therefore hid I my face from them and gave them into the hand of their enemies. So fell they all by the sword. That's beautiful, man. So this scripture shows you that these heathens eventually going to know and understand that it was by the hand of the Heavenly Father that we was put low not because of their strength but because of their gods no man it was us you know we forsook the heavenly father and therefore we was put into slavery underneath our enemies who were weaker than us both mentally and physically man yep. you know they're nothing it's just because of the heavenly father yeah okay give me uh baruch 
four and uh, six. Um, Sakar. Mm -hmm. You asked me for the tall bit also? Baruch? Yeah, same. Baruch four and six. Because, you know, like the brothers going into, you know, it's us. We went off first. So the Most High, he turned his back. That's what you can read also in the scriptures. The Most High, he turned his back onto us. You know? He doesn't want to uh, deal with us anymore. So that's why we had need of uh, Yahweh Shai. <laughs> And no. all of this was already planned, all of this was already prophesied, and also in the Old Testament. The Baruch? Baruch chapter 4, verse 6. You were sold to the nations, not for your destruction, but because you moved the heavenly father to wrath. You see, so the Most High did this to us, not to be completely wiped out and completely destroyed. No, the Most High, he chastened us. The Most High, he's like, okay, so you want to go um, and uh, after these... Uh, Edens, they're gods, right? Which are no gods. So you want to go after them? Okay, I'm gonna sell you to them. Here, go, go, uh, marry these these uh, other nations. They're they're women, you know. Go, make children with them, you know. Do do what you want, but not for your destruction. The Most High didn't do that uh, for your destruction, but because he moved, we moved him to wrath. You know, the Most High was mad because of the going after other gods. You know, we forsook the, the, the one true fountain of, of living water, as it says in uh, Jeremiah 2. You know, we knew that we had the power. We knew that we are the, we are the children of the Most High. But still, you want to go after uh, Jan, Kees, Piet, Klaas, their, their gods. You know, you want that money quick. You want certain things quick. Then the Most High, he, he was moved to wrath. He was moved to anger. Can you please on it? Think it, yeah, yeah. Read it. I say chapter one, verse three. The ox knows his owner, and the ass his master's crib. But Israel do not know. My people do not consider. Yeah, man. So our people, the uh, uh, ox is a is a stupid animal, you know. But still, he knows uh, uh, who his owner is. But our people, you know, the nation of Israel, they don't regard the heavenly Father, you know. They go after other uh, deities which are no real gods, which are no real powers. You know? No, I thought it was, oh, thought it was cookies or something. No. I think you come with food. Yeah, so. Uh, you go there? Oh, yeah, yeah. He told you? Really, really, really finished. Yeah, uh, that was done. The uh, Baruch yeah, 4 and 6. Keep him company, man. Okay, go. I stay there, next to them. You can hear from someone, sure. Yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah please. Baruch? Nasha? Nasha? Tussi camera. Why are you able to stand, man? Why are you able to stand? Tussi camera, then you can see that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Can you drive? You? Is your phone? Yes, my phone. Can you sit down? Right here now. Oh, yeah. You don't have a salad? It. No. I think it's like this front. Yeah. Oh, no. Wait a second. I'm going to take it like so. Is there any cramp or so? Yeah, like that. And you see you in it. And then and now then you gotta you turn it. Naka. Naka. <laughs> Naka. Naka. How do you turn it? It needs to be turned. Holy food. So lucky. No, this whole thing. Oh like that. Yeah. Oh you want it like that? Yeah. Go. Yeah. It's the book of Baruch chapter 4 verse 6 You were sold to the nations Not for your destruction But because you moved the heavenly father to wrath You were delivered unto You were delivered unto the enemies Read it again Yes, yeah, 7 uh, For 7 For you provoked him that, 
for you provoke him that made you by sacrificing unto devils, not to the heavenly father. You see? So that's the that's the most important point. This, this is the only uh, reason that's been given in given in this chapter. You know, so this is the most important thing that we went off on. We went to, to worship devils, sacrifice unto devil, burn incense unto devils, you know, unto these other uh, nations, their gods. So that's why the Most High is mad. That's why the Most High is angry. Of course, we have other things also, but this is the main point, man. Actually, every time, every single time we went off and went into other gods. Speaking um, of Jeremiah, what do you have there? Chapter Hosea 1. But you were talking about how the Most High turned his back to that when he was shy. So I have that on deck if you want to go into that. If you not, then we'll Jeremiah what? 2. Uh, Jeremiah 2. And the Stop. broken sister. <laughs> and then you read the, the last part, the heaven, the blue. Ruke chapter 4 uh, verse 8 Ye have forgotten the everlasting power that brought you up and you have grieved Jerusalem that nursed you Yeah man, so we have forgotten the, the everlasting power which is the most high, Yahweh and we have grieved the land that, that nursed us which is the, na the land of Israel you know, like the brother was going into it was first the land of Canaan but the most high gave it unto us and we had to keep the also keep the ways of that land but since we didn't we got kicked out out of that land also you see because okay. um go to ezekiel the seventh chapter you know it talks about how uh, the land will become desolate and the reason that it became desolate because we you know pursued the last touch command to the heavenly father man you know because if we would do that which what which was required of us the land would be very uh, fruitful and pleasant unto us, you know. Yeah. But the opposite happened of that. That's why the land, the, uh, the land is called the land of milk and honey. You know, it would be prosperous unto us, but we didn't keep the ways of the land. You know. I have that one which I uh, quoted. If you want that. Yes. Um, this is Ezekiel chapter seven, uh, verse twenty. As for the beauty of his ornament. He said it in majesty. Yeah, the, the ornament, which is the land of Israel. Mm. Yeah. Uh, but they made the images of their abominations and of their detestable things therein. Therefore have I set it far from them. Yeah, so that's why we sacrifice unto devils. We, we uh, burnt incense to their gods. So that's why the Most High, he took us out of that land. You see? And I will give it into the hands of the strangers for a prey and to the wicked of the earth for a spoil and they shall pollute it. So who is living in the land of Israel right now? It's Amalekites, you know? Also the, uh, the Palestinians, the Arabs, the Arabs. So all these strangers, all these other nations who actually it's not their land, they are inhabiting it right now. They're not called Israelites because the word Ait goes into a people. They're called Israeli because they're inhabiting that land. It's not their land. The that through the spirit they call themselves just inhabitants instead of the people. It's the pilot. Yeah. Uh, what was it? Maccabees. Second Maccabees. Verse 22 My face will I turn Second also Maccabees. from them, and they shall pollute my secret place, for the robber shall enter into it and defile it. You know, this also is talking about the land. Right? 26 um, and 22. Yeah, that was it. Yeah, I had a precept. Uh, this is the book of 2nd Maccabees chapter 6 verse 22 that in so doing he might be delivered from death and for the old friendship with them find favor 2nd <laughs> oh, Maccabees or 1st Maccabees uh, that the place, the place was uh, for, for the people's sake I thought it was first 2nd Maccabees 6 and 22 what did I say? he said 6 and 22 Second yeah. Maccabees 6 and 22. Like we saw the way you might be delivered from that. Mm. So what I just read, the 6 and 22. It's about the... Uh, I'll be certain of them that will be certain of course. Okay. 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 Okay.
Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is the book of 2 Maccabees, chapter 5, verse 19. Nevertheless, the Heavenly Father did not choose the people for the place, place's sake, but the place for the people's sake. Yeah, man, so the place was, was um, chosen for the people's sake. You know, we were roaming and, and uh, uh, moving across the, the, the face of the earth, and we didn't really have a, a place yet to dwell. But the Most High, He said, sent us into that land, you know, to conquer it. You know, because the Most High, He gave us certain rules that we had to keep to stay in that land. You know, because the, the, these other nations, the Canaanites, they were driven out of that land because they were defiling it. You know? Uh, give me a precept. This is Hebrews chapter 11, starting at verse 8. By faith, Abraham, when he was called to go out into a place which he should have to receive for an inheritance, obeyed, and he went out not knowing whither he went. By faith, he sojourned in the land of promise, as, as in a strange country, dwelling in tabernacles with Isaac and Jacob, the heirs with him of the same promise. promise. For he looked for a city which has foundations, whose builder and maker is the Most High. So, this goes into how the land of Israel, you know, was promised unto Abraham and his uh, descendants. But they didn't receive that promise yet, you know. So they were actually sojourners, which are just travelers in a land that was given unto them already. But they never uh, settled down. Yeah, yeah. That, that's going to come for us, man. In the kingdom, we're going to receive those things that... Are, 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 were given first on unto Abraham and uh, Isaac and Jacob. Yeah, man. That, that also made me uh, think about how Abraham, he almost <coughs> slew his son on that spot. Also Melchizedek, he was a king of Salem. Salem yeah. You know, so Everything. all these things, uh, there's a heavy vibration upon that, that uh, place, you know. So we were constantly uh, being attracted to that place, but the time to, to enter that place and to conquer it wasn't yet. You see, that's when uh, Joshua and Caleb, they were the only ones to enter into, into that land, which is the land of Israel. You see, because the, the other people that came out of Egypt, even Moses didn't see the land of Israel. You know, because, because they caused uh, Moses also to sin with his lips. And the, the rest of the people, they were murmuring and they, they were not the ones that had to enter into that land and uh, Joshua and Caleb they represent the, the the nation of Israel the southern kingdom and the northern kingdom um, the Joshua was I believe Ephraim and Caleb which if you go into that word Caleb it goes into dog you know which goes back to to loyalty you know Caleb was loyal unto the most high so those two were the only ones that were um, deemed worthy to enter into that land that land of Canaan you know what we're speaking about right now. I've got a quick precept as well. Mm -hmm. um, this is concerning, uh, uh, what you spoke about concerning Joshua and Caleb. It says uh, Hebrews 4 and uh, uh, verse 8. For if Joshua, here, here it says uh, Jesus, but we understand that through the translation it goes back to Joshua because Joshua's name, you know, also uh, in the Hebrew was Yahushai. Uh, but it says, for if uh, Joshua had given them rest, then would he not afterward have spoken of another day. There remained therefore a rest to the people of the Most High, for he that is entered into his rest, he hath also seen from his own work, as the Most High did from, him, or from his. So it was never the purpose of the Heavenly Father to establish the rest that uh, was promised unto us, you know, by the hands of, of, of Joshua and Caleb. You know, that would come way later, you know. The rest is something that we desire, that we uh, greatly desire, man. You know, we're getting sick and tired of this place. Yeah, we're getting sick and tired of being sick and tired. <laughs> so yeah, man, that's that's all pertaining to that land that nourished us. You know, uh, Leviticus. Leviticus is speaking about how that land, um, you know, it has a strong vibration on it, and if you don't keep the ways <laughs> of the land, then it's gonna spew you out. And that's what happened to us if you read uh, Book Four. Four and six. Leviticus chapter 26, verse 43. The land also shall be left of them and shall enjoy her Sabbaths, while she lie desolate without them, and they shall accept of the punishment of their iniquity. Or actually, start at the uh, one verse. Okay. Uh, uh, one, Leviticus 16 and 1. When you go into uh, take the land. The book of Leviticus chapter 16, verse 1. 
And the Heavenly Father spake unto Moses. No, no, no. Uh, let me see. It's a lock here. 18. 18. Yeah, 18. 18 and 1. Yeah. Oh. It's the book of Leviticus, chapter 18, verse 1. And the heavenly father spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, I am the I am the I am Yahweh by Shimei Shai, your power. No, yeah. actually it's uh, Yahweh because in that time you didn't have Yahweh Shai. Yeah. No, that, that, that's good. Yeah. Leviticus chapter 18, verse 1. And the heavenly father spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, I am the heavenly father, your power. After the doings of the land of Egypt, where ye dwelt, shall ye not do. And after the doings of the land of Canaan, where did I bring you, shall ye not do. Neither shall ye walk in their ordinances. Ye shall do my judgments, and keep my ordinances, to walk therein. I am the heavenly father, your power. Yeah, man, so this is what the Most High told us not to do. Don't go after the ways of these Canaanites. Don't go after the ways of Egypt, where I took you out of. But still, you know, our people, they were saved with, with the strong hand of the Most High, but still they turned back to these, these hedonistic uh, ways. Uh, jump to... Um, yeah. Start at 22 and we read until 28. Ah. Verse 22. Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. It is an abomination. Yeah, we all know that. You know, you're not supposed to lay with a, with a man, but these uh, Canaanites, these... these uh, all these Canaanite gods also, they go back to, to uh, homosexual uh, gods, man. They do homosexual acts. So that's that's their gods, that's their ways. That's Those are the, the deities and, and uh, powers that they worship, you know, which are no actual powers. They just give you a small portion, you know, if you want uh, fertility, if you want uh, quick money, certain things it, they give you, but you have to worship the, the father of spirits. <laughs> Go ahead. Verse 23. Neither, sh neither shalt thou lie with any beast to defile thyself therewith. Neither shall any woman stand before a beast to lie, da to lie down there too. It is confusion. Yeah, man, but these people, that's what they do. You know, the Canaanites did that. You also have here in, in Holland that they used to be one of the first ones to film um, the bestialities. You know, they would come here to, to make those type of movies. <coughs> You know, so you see that their spirit is not right. That's not um, according to the Most High. The Most High find that, finds that a filthy act. Because if you go into that word abomination, it's a filthy act in the sight of the Most High. Go ahead. Um, verse 24. Defile not yourselves in any of these things, for in all these nations are defiled, for in all these... For in all these, the nations are defiled, which are cast out before you. You see? Esau does it. These other nations also do it. Or was it uh, Ishmael? They, they uh, fuck the... Uh, Bachabati. Yeah. Or Bachabati children. Men. Uh, small, small boys. No, no, no. Not that. They also uh, oh, lose their virginity to, their to a beast. You know, so the Most High doesn't lie, man. All these nations, they are defiled with these things. With these filthy acts, with bestiality, with homosexualism, and all these uh, type of things. But you, you are set apart. You shouldn't be like them, the Israelites. Uh, I had also in his, uh, one of his videos. Uh, yeah, speak up. Okay. Uh, the second in command of the camp had also uh, a video. I, I don't know where it is. Maybe it's years ago, but it had uh, art from the island of Pompeii. And you saw. Uh, the Javites that they were living back then uh, in Rome and uh, in, in Europe, south, southern Europe, they were doing goats. Just so they had an art form which was made from stone. So they used like a, I don't know, it's a statue basically. Mm -hmm. And he had, you know, he was laying down with a goat. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So these nations, they're defiled with these things. Go ahead. Uh, uh, Defile not yourselves in any of these things, for in all these the nations are defiled which are cast out before you. And the land is defiled, therefore I do visit the iniquity thereof upon it, and the land itself vomited it out her inhabitants. You see, so the inhabitants are defiled, which defiles the land, which defiles the land, and then the most, even the land spews, spews them out, the most high kicks them out of that land, you know, for doing all these uh, filthy things. 
go ahead. Verse 26, Ye shall therefore keep my statutes and my judgments, and shall not commit any of these abominations, neither any of your own nation, any, neither any of your own nation, nor any stranger that sojourned among you. Yeah, so you nor, nor your um, slave or, or uh, how you call it, concubine or, you know, the people that, that uh, travel with you, they're not to <coughs> do these things, you know. Otherwise, they are also going to defile you. You know, you if you, you, you set yourself uh, apart, you um, sanctify yourself, but the people in your house, you know, um, like a concubine or a stranger that does the work for you, he defiles himself with these things. It's also going to cause you to be defiled, you know. So the Most High, he said, neither you nor the stranger that sojourneth with you should do these things. Is that so, something? Yeah. Because a little leaven leaven it the whole lump. You have... There always comes this example that's being brought up by the brothers that if you have, you know, four, four, basically four slots for a host, and then you know this, uh, this, this, this so-called virtuous type of virgin girl comes, but she hangs out with these, with, with, with these, you know, basically with these skanky ass you know, chicks. After a while, she's gonna be defiled by their ways because she's surrounded by them, and even in the world they say. Show me your five friends and I'll show you who you are. You know why? Because you take on those traits, man. I myself, I notice that I take on traits of the brothers, man. You know? And then sometimes I catch myself like, right now I'm like him. I act like him. I have this from this brother. You know, you, you become literally one body, man. Like one, 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 how do you say that? Well oiled motor. The artisan, and the spirit, man. So, if, 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 if someone in your surroundings is, is doing wickedness, they're supposed to be kicked out, man, so that they cannot influence those that are surrounding you. That's why even the scripture says, if you see someone that's doing wickedness, you know, these, they should be brought forth, you know, put to death as an example, so that others may fear as well that they won't do the same filthy acts that they be doing, man, whether it's, you know, worshiping, or trying to worship other gods, or, you know, doing things that are not a right, but they should be set forth as an example so that other people know I'm not supposed to do that. Yeah, that's true. Just like how uh, the garment that was stolen, the Babylonish garment, Akan, yeah. with Akan, you know, he, he was killed and his whole family. That's why you have uh, <coughs> what was the shrine, uh, the stones were put in the place that he was um, stoned at. You know, so the Most High. If something happens to uh, defile the camp, for example, we used to we used to beat all these nations to smithereens. But if some if one day we would lose one person or ten people, then we would look like, hey, who's who's doing you know wickedness? Because otherwise, the Most High would we, would be with us. You see. Also, what you said that the, the basically uh, some sort of monument was being made, right? Yeah. But what is a monument used for? To bring to remembrance, right? Yeah. So it's it is to bring uh, back to remembrance what happens if you do something that you was being told not to do. So that's it, man. You know, it all links links together, man. Go. Go ahead in the Leviticus. Verse twenty-seven. For all these abominations have the man of the land done which were before you, and the land is defiled, that the land spoo not you out also when you defile it, as it spooled out the nations that were before you. Yeah. 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 yeah, no, that was it. Gone. So that's why the land in uh, Baruch 4 and 6, you know, we got kicked out of that land, the land which nourished us, which uh, brought us, um, you know, um, yeah, that fed us, actually. So if we can go back to Baruch 4. Uh, um, you want to do it from 7? Uh, no. 8, and then uh, read on down. Uh, it's the book of uh, Baruch, chapter 4, verse 8. Ye have forgotten the everlasting power that brought you up, <laughs> and ye have grieved Jerusalem that nursed you. For when, for when he saw the wrath of the Heavenly Father coming upon you, for when she... Oh, so lucky. For when she saw the wrath of the Heavenly Father coming upon you, she said, Hearken, O ye that dwell about Zion, 
Heavenly Father had brought upon me a great mourning, for I saw the captivity of my sons and daughters, which, which the everlasting brought upon them. Yeah, man. So um, the sheep which is spoken about here is the land. So it refers to the land, how the land saw that we were taken captive. You know, just like in the, the time of um, 70 AD, you know, we were we were uh, taken by siege by the Romans and then we were taken in captivity. We, we were uh, kicked out of that land, man. You have it? Of course. <laughs> Go ahead. This is Luke chapter 21, starting at verse 20. And when ye shall see Jerusalem compassed with armies, that know that the desolation thereof is nigh. Yeah, man. So this is uh, Yahweh Shai speaking. This is a prophecy before it happened. You know, because uh, Yahweh Shai, he lived until he was, uh, what was it? 32, 33, and then he prophesied about this siege that would come in uh, 30 years after him. Then let them which are in Judea flee to the mountains. Which the mountains represent uh, Africa, the land of Africa, the land of Ham. And let them which are in the midst of it depart out, and let not them that are in the countries enter therein too. For these be the days of vengeance, that all things which are written may be fulfilled. God, so these are the days of vengeance, which uh, is the vengeance that Esau was looking for towards uh, the Israelites. You know, because Esau, he said in his heart that uh, the days of mourning are at hand, and he's going to slay his, his brother Jacob. No, it's just, uh, you know, he has that perpetual hatred within himself, so he always goes after the Israelites, he wants to destroy them. You see? Verse 23, But woe unto them that are with child, and to them that give suck in those days, for there shall be great distress in the land, and wrath upon this people. God, so um, <laughs> Jerusalem was sieged, and yeah, I don't know how many years it took, but bit about, by bit. About, about seven years from uh, about 86 AD, up until uh, 75, which, you know, it all ended with the siege at Masada, which that was the last battle that took place, you know, for us to basically fall completely as a nation uh, back then. Yeah. <clears throat> spoke about the Jewish wars. There's multiple uh, conflicts. Jewish wars. Verse 24, And they shall fall by the edge of the sword, and shall led away captive, in, and shall be led away captive into all nations, and Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. So this is what actually happened when these Romans came and sacked Jerusalem. You know, a lot of our people were slaughtered. You know, some fled away, others were taken captive. And the people that you see in the land right now, you know, the Arabs, you know, the Amalekites, you know, even you've got Esau here and there. You know, these people, you know, had been given the land until their time is up, until their time is finished, pursuing to uh, also, what is it, Second Ezra chapter 6, man, until the time of Esau is gone, that we're going to be set up back again through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. You see? Luke 21. Luke 21, and yeah, I started at 20, but the uh, the and done again, that was the first 24. <clears throat> With the captivity? Uh, yeah. 24. 24. That was also hand in hand with uh, the Daniel, the ninth chapter, the last couple of verses. So go back to the Baruch. Uh, Ezekiel 7 and 20. I read it. <laughs> oh, that's. <laughs> Sorry, I jumped the gun. <laughs> no problem. Isaiah 49 and 21. Good. Baruch chapter 4, verse 14. Let them that dwell about Zion come and remember ye. The captivity of my sons and no, daughters. Uh, verse 10. <coughs> yeah. Baruch chapter 4, verse 10. For I saw the captivity of my sons and daughters, which the everlasting brought upon them. With joy did I nourish them, but send them away with weeping and mourning. Let no man rejoice over me, a widow, and forsaken of many, who for the sins of my children am left desolate. Because yeah. they departed from the heavenly father, from the law of the heavenly father. Yeah, man. So uh, the, the land even is mourning and weeping because we left. You know, because if you look at the land right now, it's desolate. You know, it, looked like, it looks like a desolate desert, but it's, uh, 
it's called the land of milk and honey. So when the the people are gonna be right, the people are gonna follow the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High, and go be set in that land again, then the land is gonna flourish. Then the land is gonna be act really the the land of milk and honey. You see, but now we go off. We are we are we internally we look just like how Israel looks right now. You know, all desolate. We are destroyed from the inside. Our people are destroyed. You see, but when we are uh, made perfect, then the land is gonna be perfect and it's gonna nourish us and, and uh, be beautified again. I uh, got a couple of pictures. Don't know if y'all can see it, but it just gives a small glimpse of you know what the land looks like right now. But a picture, a couple of pictures here, just to give y'all an idea. Like this is what it's now. Verse 11, uh, verse 12, Let no man rejoice over me, a widow and forsaken of many, who for the sins of my children and left, am left desolate, because they departed from the law of the Heavenly Father. Verse 13, They know not his statutes, nor walk in the ways of his commandments, nor trod in the paths of discipline in his righteousness. Let them that dwell about Zion come, and remember ye the captivity of my sons and daughters, which the everlasting had brought upon them. Yeah, you see, so this also goes hand in hand with what you were speaking about, that the Most High caused us to lose our heritage. The Most High brought these things upon us. He uses men, but still, it's the Most High who did that. So, yeah. I looked up uh, how much does Israel basically import? Because, you know, if the land is, 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 is flung with milk and honey, meaning it's very uh, prosperous and fertile, it means that you're able to produce uh, produce for yourself, right? But here comes, what is Israel's biggest import? So it's like, a, does Israel, uh, no, no, here, does Israel rely on imports? That's the point. It says, Israel is highly dependent on agricultural and food imports due to its limited arable land and water resources. The country's dependence will only increase. Yeah. So that shows you that the land as it used to be is not the same, you know, as right now. Yeah. Because if the, if, if the land was able to nourish us, the land itself, you know, but right now the people that are in the land rely on the import of other nations, it means it's not the same. It's not the same. Yeah. And they don't even got oil over there, also. That nation right now. Uh, it's not known for, for oil. What is Israel's biggest import? Israel's main imports are machinery and equipment. 28% of total imports, diamonds, oil, and other mineral fuels, which is about uh, 9%, which is you know, quite a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Desolate. But yeah, that's what uh, the Most High brought upon us and the land. Go ahead. Verse 15, for he had brought a nation upon them from far, a shameless nation, and of a strange language, <coughs> who neither reverence old men nor pity child. Yeah, and who's that strange nation? That's Esau. You know, just like it says in uh, Deuteronomy 28, you know, that that nation is going to come swift as an eagle. You see? So it's all prophecy, it's all the Most High's uh, will. Go ahead. These have carried away the dear beloved children of the widow and left her that was alone desolate without daughters. For what can I help you? For he had brought this place upon you, for he that brought this place upon you will deliver you from the hands of your enemies. Yeah, but, uh, the Isaiah 49. Because uh, what you want to take to uh, 21. 21. Because now we are taken out of that land. You know, the most high caused us to be um, kicked out of that land and be uh, spread spread all over the four corners of the earth but the same is also gonna yeah. 
Hello, God bless you, sir. Yeah, so, okay, read it again, the last uh, right, two verses. Yes, you too. These have carried the uh, for 50, for he had brought up... 17, 17 and 18. 17, but what can I help you? For he that brought this place upon you will deliver you from the hands of the enemies. Yeah, so the, the person, or not the person, the God that brought these things upon us, he is the one that's also going to deliver us out of the same, out of these plagues, out of the hand of our enemies. You know, and then the land is going to say this, uh, Isaiah 49. This is Isaiah chapter 49 and verse 21. Then shall I say in thine heart, who hath begotten me these, seeing I have lost my children, and am desolate, a captive, and removing, and removing to and fro. And who hath brought up these, behold, I was left alone, these were, ha these were had they been. Yeah, so the, the land was a widow, like we just read. The land was desolate, but when the Most High is going to help us, He's going to transform us, He's going to um, cause us to be in the chariots, He's going to gather us all, and then we're going to be set in the land of Israel. Then the land of Israel is going to be like, who brought me these? You know, I was desolate, I was a widow, I, I didn't have any children, but now the children are going to come back, you know, the children of the nation of Israel. You see? So, so that's how the, the land is going to behold us when we come back. That we are of that number. Oh yeah, yeah that's, good, that's a point, the last uh, support. Yeah, really? Really? Yeah. This is the book of Baruch chapter 2 verse 35 And I will make an everlasting covenant with them to be their power And they shall be my people And I will no more drive my people of Israel out of the land that I have given them Yeah man, you see, so we were driven out of that land But the Most High is going to make a covenant with us Which is the covenant pursuing to Jeremiah 31 and 31 He's going to put the laws within on every part So we are not going to be able to go off We are going to be all righteous You know, we are going to... Um, uh, live breathe think according to what the most high wants you know we're going to live breathe think scriptures it's perfection we're going to be made perfect you see and then we're going to be set in the land and the land is going to flourish it's really going to be called the land of milk and honey you see so when you read um baruch 4 it it, it uh, explains how the land <laughs> experiences these loss the loss of the children of israel and how it sees the, the, the coming back of the children of Israel. So, read on, verse 19. Verse 19, go your way, O my children, go your way, for I am left desolate. I have put off the clothing of peace and put upon me the sackcloth of my prayer. I will cry unto the everlasting in my days. Yeah, so uh, sackcloth, what the sackcloth represents? Sackcloth represents mourning, so the land is mourning for us. Go ahead. Malachi 4. Be of good cheer, O my children. Cry unto the heavenly Father, and he shall deliver you from the power, from the power and the hand of the enemies. Yep. So, yeah, if I hear this, if I read this, then the Most High said, if we would all call up on him, you know, in unison, that's when the Most High would turn away the, these, these curses. That's when the Most High would take away these curses, and we would be um, set upon high, you know, if that was possible. But... You know, through through the whole storyline, what the Most High wanted, He wanted us to go through wickedness, to to look for and seek for righteousness, to seek for the Most High. You see? Go ahead. Verse 22. For my hope is in the everlasting, that He will save you, and joy is come unto me from the Holy One, because of the mercy which shall soon come unto you from the everlasting, our Savior. Uh, verse 22, 23 For I sent you out with mourning and weeping But the heavenly father will give you to me again with joy and gladness forever Yeah man, so we are going to be set up in that country again We are going to be set up in that land That land, the land of Israel That's when the land is going to be joyous again That's when the land is going to be happy to, 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 to see us again Go ahead For I sent you out with mourning and weeping 
But the Heavenly Father will give you to me again with joy and gladness forever. Like as now, the neighbors of Zion have seen your captivity, so shall they see shortly your salvation from our power. Yeah, man. So just like how in the, in the land of Egypt, you know, we were captive and the Most High caused the, the Egyptians to see how marvelous and great he was, is, you know, that's how also for the second time, we, these nations, they're going to see the, the, the greatness of the Most High. They're going to see that we are the, the, the children of the Most High, that the nation of Israel, they are the children of the living power, you know? That's one of your favorite scripture now, Jeremiah 16. Yeah, read it again. Let me see if I can get more out of it. But keep it on there. Like as now, the neighbors of Zion have seen your captivity. So shall they see shortly your salvation from our power, which shall come upon you with great glory and brightness of the everlasting. Yeah, man. So that's beautiful, man. So now they, they look at us. You know, we're captives. They <laughs> trample us. They stomp us. They keep us low. You know, like it says in uh, Revelation 11, you know, they didn't want to uh, bury our bodies. You know? They seen it, they know who we are, but they they just uh, keep us down, you know? So they see the captivity, but they're also gonna see the strangeness of our salvation, you know, like the, the scriptures calls it. And that also goes back to the Malachi, uh, no, Habakkuk, Habakkuk uh, 1, which we started off with, you know? So this this is this this whole, so now you have the, the whole blueprint, the whole understanding of why uh, Malachi, uh, like Malachi, Habakkuk 1 and 5 speaks of, upon, you know, you're going to hear it, but you're not going to believe it. You see, so this is the Spirit. So we're going to go straight to the Father. Give me the... Malachi first? Yeah, Malachi. This is Malachi chapter 4 and verse 3. And ye shall tread down the wicked, for they shall be ashes under the soles of your feet. In the day that I shall do this, said the Lord of hosts. Yeah, man, so we are going to become a biological weapon. We are going to be a weapon unto these other nations. The Most High is going to change us to, to, to be a weapon. If you could give me that in uh, Wisdom of Solomon, Wisdom of Solomon 5. You see, so we are going to tread upon their necks now, uh, in that time. You know, now we're still awaiting, you know, the, the judgment of the Most High. We have to watch how this whole movie plays out, you know, and have to cling on to faith, you know, faith that these words are going to come to fruition and that they're going to come to pass, you know. But ultimately, the, the, the victory is already written. The Israelites are going to win. The elect of the Most High is going to be the ruling government, you know, upon the earth. So we are, are hoping and, and praying for that these things speedily come. We, we pray for a few days, like the scripture says, you see. Matthew. Matthew 24. Uh, yeah, the, not the, the Baruch. The last verse on the neck, and then we go to have a book. Baruch chapter 4, verse 25. My children, suffer patiently the wrath that has come upon you from the heavenly Father. For thine enemy hath persecuted thee, but shortly thou shalt see his destruction, and shalt tread upon his neck. Yeah. On. So that's the, the Malachi 4 and 3. You know, the Most High is going to change us. He's going to change our foul bodies and we are going to tread upon our enemies, their necks. You see? Can you give me the wisdom of Solomon? 5 and 17. This wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5 and verse 17. <coughs> he shall take him, he shall take him to his jealousy for complete armor and make the creature his weapon for the revenge of his enemies. Can you read again, Bob Kishore, and make you like that? This wisdom of Solomon, <laughs> chapter 5 and verse 17. He shall, take, he shall take to him his jealousy for complete armor. Yeah, so the Most High, he's, he's jealous. He's a jealous power. Can you give me that in uh, Nahum? Nahum 1, verse 3, I believe. Yeah. So the Most High, he, he, is, he gives you emotions, right? You are sad, you are happy, jealous, uh, uh, angry all these things so you want to tell me the 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 power the god that created all these emotions he doesn't have emotions himself no man he has emotions also that's why we went into captivity that's why we we were kicked out of the land you know because we were doing these things in front of his face oh, 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 oh. 
that scripture again. I mean, we read it last week, I believe, that we were provoked, provoking the Most High right in front of Him. Yeah, I think it was in camp. But yeah. So we did all these things in a, uh, right in the presence of the Most High, you know, um, going after these other gods. So the Most High, He became mad and jealous. Nahum chapter 1 verse 3, the Heavenly Father is slow to anger and great in power. You see, so the Most High doesn't get angry real quick, but we did the, the most disrespectful thing to the Most High that, you know, he's like, okay, now it's enough. Now, now I'm going to uh, bring the wrath upon you. Go ahead. Uh, I will not at all acquit the wicked. The Heavenly Father had his way in the whirlwind and in the storm and in the, cl and the clouds on the dust of his feet. Was it that? No, it was uh, verse 1, I believe. Jealous, jealous and the Lord defends. Yeah, yeah, that was. A... Go a little bit off the book of Nahum, chapter 1, verse 2. The Heavenly Father is jealous and the Heavenly Father revenged. The Heavenly Father revenged and is furious. The Heavenly Father will take vengeance on his adversaries and reserve wrath for his enemies. Yeah, man. So the Most High is a jealous power and he reserves uh, wrath for his enemies. You know, the enemies, uh, you're like. The Most High is all powerful, but uh, who are his enemies then? You know, how, how come the Most High has enemies here upon earth? Uh, James 4? James 4 and 4? Because, yeah. Yeah, want to squat here, man. When I go here so deep, like a slippery slope. But yeah, man, the Most High, he is jealous and he, um, he brings wrath upon his enemies. Who are the enemies? The ones that are contrary unto him, the ones that are ungodly, the ones that, that don't. Yeah, these other nations, for sure, because they haven't been given the last and second commandments. You know, they can do whatever they want, eat whatever they want. But he has that, that, that pure um, hatred when our people do it. That's when the Most High really gets mad. This is James 4 and 4. Ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with the Most High? Yeah, you see, so when you are a friend of the world, when you, you also see it in uh, uh, television uh, programs, you know. If you want to make it uh, on uh, television, you have to be in sync and in tune and have to like all the things that are going on in the world like these uh, LMNOP people you gotta you can't have an opinion you know you have to be friends with the world you have to be um, friends with everybody if you want to make it in this world if you want to make it on television if you want to become a celebrity you know you have to be um, not not strict with your opinion you have to be uh, if yeah you have to be open you have to go along with with uh, what's happening at the time you know like what uh, what's it Charles Barkley and and um, this other Shaq they're doing you know they're ridiculing uh, Kyrie Irving you know because they you see Shaq Shaq is a Freemason you know with, with his rings and stuff like that he he's a, and also LeBron James they they all ridicule him they're like no nah, man you can't say these things about these people so these these um, athletes these uh, I want to say princes but these athletes they also, they don't really um, give their opinion. They don't voice their opinions. Otherwise, they're going to lose their money. So they have to be friends with the world. You see? If they want to keep their, their riches and blessings from uh, Satan. Yeah, all true thing. Yeah. Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of the Most High. Yeah, so if you're a friend of the world, you're enemy of the Most High. So those are the enemies of the Most High as... We just read in uh, Nahum 1 and 2. So the Psalms, the 83rd, which we read yeah. by the enemies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Can you go back to the Wisdom of Solomon 5? The Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5, and verse 17. He shall take to him his jealousy for complete armor and make the creature his weapon for the revenge of his enemies. Yeah, so who's the creature? The creature is man. He's going to take the man, the elect man, the man that uh, cleansed himself, that uh, kept the ways of the Most High, that believes in his son, Yahweh Shai. He's going to take him and transform him and make him a creature of his enemies. No, and make the creature his weapon for the revenge of his enemies. So we are going to be a weapon. We are going to be a bio weapon. 
Is he? Do the first step? Um, Esau's gonna come with, uh, how do you call these suits? These uh, exoskeleton suits and stuff like that. He's gonna come with his technology, but the things that the most that he's gonna come with the most high he has an answer for everything you know like the scripture says no weapon formed against thee shall prosper <coughs> uh, this is uh, Genesis chapter 1 and verse 20 and the powers said let the waters bring forth abundantly the moving creature that had life and fowl that may fly above the earth in the open firmament of heaven so we actually was created not on the sixth day but on the fifth day and that moving creature you know is referring to you know certain animals but also referring to men so back of the point of the brother you know when it says that the, the, the creature was made you know for the revenge of his enemies that's referring to the uh to the elect Israelite man yeah and also the scripture says uh, you now are a new, new creature, creature in Yahweh Yahweh Shai. Shai. Yeah. so that's how you got to link these scriptures through Yahweh Shai, you are a new creature but we're going to ultimately be changed when Yahweh Shai comes and we're going to be changed in a blink of an eye mm. yeah let's go to have a quick let's uh... you don't want the precepts on the no no no, no? Baruch yeah Baruch was close. <laughs> let's go to Habakkuk this is Habakkuk 1 and 5 behold ye among the heathen oh, and yeah. regard and wonder Don't marvelously it. for I will work and work in your days which you will not believe, though it be told you. So now, actually, through the Spirit, we already explained the, the whole work that is going to happen. You know, we're going to tread upon our enemies. We're going to be, we're going to receive salvation through these uh, chariots. We're going to be put upon our in our land. You know, all these things those, that's going to happen because the Most High, He uh, uh, gave that word, the secrets, unto the prophets to give to the nation of Israel and also. To these other nations that they know what what's awaiting them okay give me that in uh, amos amos 3 and 7 uh, Tobit. three and i believe no 13 13 and 2. this is the book of Tobit, chapter 13 verse 2 for he had done scorch and had mercy three, three. Oh. Like book that. of Tobit, chapter 30 verse 3 Confess him before the Gentiles, ye children of Israel, for he has scattered us among them. You see, so that's why we gotta confess Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai in front of the Gentiles. Why? Because we are spread across the four corners of the earth. We are spread in the uh, in in. Yeah, Oh. So um, confess him among the Gentiles because we are spread across the four corners of the earth. We are amongst the Gentiles. We have uh, brothers and sisters that are looking like these heathen nations, you see? So they also have to hear the word. So that's why we got to confess it uh, among the nations because we, amongst the Gentiles, because we are spread amongst the Gentiles. So the precept in Acts? Yeah. This is Acts chapter 13 and verse 38. Be it known unto you, therefore, men and brethren, that through this man is preached unto you the forgiveness of sins. And by him all that believe are justified from all things from which ye could not be justified by the law of Moses. Yeah, so the, the law of Moses, what is that? That's mm -hmm. the law. You know, those are the, the, the Torah, the first five books of uh, the Bible. You know, we can be redeemed back to the Most High by those laws, which, you know, the laws which we break, as it says in uh, Jeremiah 31, that, you know, that was the first covenant, but we kept breaking the, that law. We kept breaking. One of the uh, basic laws, one of the basic um, yeah, laws was not to go after other gods, but still we continually break it, you see? So the Most High has, had to remind us, uh, what did he remind us? Uh, for example to keep the Sabbath also that's also a basic law keep the Sabbath um, keep it holy remember the Sabbath keep it holy because we would constantly go off ten you commandments. See? yeah the Ten Commandments is the, the, yeah, the most yeah the Ten Commandments but actually there are 613 laws you know <laughs> so the most high we couldn't be redeemed back by the law of Moses so we have to have uh, Yahweh Shai we have to have faith in Yahweh Shai you see um, 
Right, so what was it? The X13? Yeah, so the, the Most High, he sent Yahweh Shai, he sent Yahweh Shai first to the Hebrews, but since the Hebrews, you know, the ones that know that they are of the circumcision, they didn't want to accept them, then Yahweh Shai went to the Gentiles, you know, and that's also according to the script, according to the prophecies. You know, we, he, the, the Gentiles would um, also have need of Yahweh Shai. Verse 40, Beware therefore, lest death come upon you, which is spoken of in the prophets. Behold, ye despisers, and wonder, and perish, for I work a work in your days, a work which ye shall not in no wise believe, though a man declare it unto you. Yeah, so that goes hand in hand what we're reading in Habakkuk. You know, it's, it's being told to these Gentiles, they're like, ah, now what? The UFOs, those are the chariots of the most high. Ah, no, man, that's, what are you talking about? We? We, the, the ones that are in captivity, the ones that are in the slums, that are in the ghettos, we are going to be put on high. Nah, man, what are you talking about? This man, this uh, Edomite, so-called white man, he's in power, you know, so nobody can take him off <laughs> his throne, just like uh, in the time of uh, Egypt, you know, the Pharaoh was in charge. He was he's, Esau as the modern day Pharaoh, you know, so nobody thought that Egypt, the Egyptians or the Egyptian empire would be uh, brought low or broken down same way they think about um, Esau they're like no man this man heaven and earth have to move for this man to be put out of uh, out of um, rulership but that's gonna happen that's exactly what is gonna happen the Most High is gonna send his son you know and he is gonna come with a with a voice of an archangel you know for that <coughs> to these people that that pierced him you know he has he, he remembered those people he's gonna come and, and get two-thirds of our nation, you know, that also um, crucified him, caused him to be crucified, you know, so all these things, we are telling you uh, these things, the Gentiles, because we also, we were a Gentile, we also were in a Gentile state of mind, because if you go to, uh, what was it, Ephesians, Galatians, and all these places that our people were in, they took on these gods of these people, they took on the, the ways of these people, and we, we now, for example, me, I came here to Holland, you know, of course, for uh, riches, for money, you know, to study and stuff like that. You know, everybody, just like how America is the land of, um, for the American dream, also Holland, if you're in, in the Caribbean or whatnot, you want to come to Holland to, to make money, to, you know, make a name for yourself, whatnot. So I was also in a Gentile state of mind. But then the Most High had a bigger plan, which was to, you know, bring me into the truth. You see, so you can make up your mind like, hey, I'm gonna do this and this and that, but the Most High is like, no, no, no. Okay, now you, I'm gonna take you out of the field, out of the world, and you're gonna work for me. You're gonna work for that penny. You know, you're gonna work for salvation. You're gonna um, work for your own salvation, actually. But I, the Most High, He He picks you, and it's not you that picked the Most High. So He chooses you to bring forth uh, the, the, the prophecies, you know, to speak these prophecies into existence. Just like how we read that you have the left hand side, the, the, the wicked, the sword of the Most High, which does his bidding. You also have the right hand side that does his bidding, you know, to bring these prophecies uh, to fruition. Can a priest up on what you were saying? Uh, hold on. Uh, give me the Amos 3. Amos 3 and 7. I think it was 7. What, the Most High secret uh, prophecy? Yeah. 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 You see, so the Most High, he he also has his men here upon earth, you know. Um, what was it? Romans, Romans 11. Uh, it's Amos chapter 3 and verse 7. Surely the Lord Yahweh will do nothing, but he revealed his secret unto his servants, the prophets. And so the Most High also has um, his right hand here upon earth. You know, a representation of his right hand here upon earth. The ones that show the secrets and the mysteries of the Most High. Like it says in, uh, what was it, 1 Corinthians 1 and 2. You know, the Most High, he shows the mysteries unto the, the, the faithful, unto the righteous. The ones that do seek his face. You see? So, he uses men. You might have one idea in your mind to, to, to do something, but... All of a sudden, your, your, your spirit change, your, your, your frame of mind changes because he shows you the secrets. Just like what we are going into in, in uh, the Illuminati, he opens your eyes like, hey, 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 
He also used one of the prophets, like, hey, look what Israel does in the dark. Ezekiel, if I remember correctly. Yeah, so that's how he also, you know, he showed us, like, hey, look at what these people, you know, the nation of Israel, uh, the, 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 um, how you call it? The ones in Hollywood, in Hollywood, the ones in the entertainment industry, look at what they're doing. Is this what you want? You want riches, right? Is this? this? And then you're like, no, 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 no. Let me start seeking for something else because it's it. Because if darkness exists, then light also has to exist. That That's balance. There has to be a balance. You, you didn't know that, but that's something that's seared into you, in, in you. Like, hey, if you have darkness, it, it, darkness can't exist if light is not there. You know? If I remember correctly, you know, you and I both, we was looking for something and then we are, and then we encountered that yeah there is something very satanic going on upon the earth and there must be a god yeah bible okay bible okay what does the bible say um flat earth oh yeah the pillars and the, the same thing that the brother had i had it also i'm like okay i'm looking for the scriptures or the bible yeah because if uh, satanism is real then the bible has to be real also so that's when esau also catches you with the snares with the flat earth and shit like that and then you go into um seven seven day adventist you know i was so i was crossing off these things i'm like okay flat flat earth no that's how it did seven day adventist go into that i'm like hey a woman she is the i forgot who, maybe you can look it up seven day adventist is, is a woman that that uh, set it up set it up yeah mm. so I was going into that, I'm like Seven Day Adventist, going in depth in that. I'm like, but she hates black people. She hates black people. I'm like, why, why does she hate black people? I'm like, huh? That's suspicious. Yeah, that's suspicious. What, what did we ever do to you to, to hate us? So that was a no-no, a, a big no-no to an ex. Then you have the, the, the Mormons, they also hate black people. Then you have uh, Jehovah Wickedness. I'm like, no, nah, I'm not. Uh, I'm not feeling them because they they can't really pull good scriptures. The only the only thing that they do, they come, they speak about the 144,000 that are gonna be saved, and the rest of the Bible. Then they don't even give you the explanation. Okay, so now you come across the Israelites. Yeah, you come across IUIC. You come across uh, her. Yeah, Ellen G. White. So she she created um, co-founder. Yeah. She was the, the, the founder of the Seven Day Adventist, you know, and I believe her grave is a pyramid, something like that. Her her uh, tombstone, and that's also with these uh, Jehovah Wickedness uh, people. So I'm like, nah, that's not it. So the Most High is showing you signs and symbols because that's how these um, three masons they also work. You know, they show they, they the whole earth is being <laughs> ruled by signs and symbols. So if I see a satanic thing on your symbol or on their tombstones and graves or, or where they make pictures, I'm like, no, that's not it. That's not the truth. So came across the Israelites, I'm like, okay. But then you you you're not really vibing with ISUPK or with IUIC or whatnot. Then you come across a great millstone which they they teach you the 100 percent truth just like it is so that's how it uh, basically went for me man can i say something she was talking about all these uh these signs and symbols right oh yeah i forgot one so like yeah the other side <laughs> what do you want no 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 just just just, just it was it was um the ones with oh new age movement i also came across that just guess an eye yeah and I and uh, they they speaking about uh, the Christ consciousness, you know. Every there's a, there's a shifting in the era. <laughs> and you are a god, you know. You have Christ in you. I'm like, nah, that's not it. Also, uh, what is the other one? Chakras. <laughs> I was also looking into chakras. Like, hey, these stones work, so this might be something. But then you also see that they go into the tree of life, and and also with the star of uh, Rephem, Rephem. So. So you see, if you see these symbols, then that's a that's a big um, no no yeah big no no a big uh, red flag man. Yeah, what I want to say was this: like these uh, these satanic people, these elites, you know, the Illuminati, whatever you want to call them, they actually they don't work in the dark; they put it in the light. 
but they put it subliminally and you know their plans are out, all out there but they have the mindset like hey, we put it all out there it's, it's on the tv it's on the movies it's on the series it's in books it's everywhere but if you are so stupid you know to still not be able to to get it then they'd be like then you're a sheep man then, then you need to be slaughtered then you need to then you deserve the things that we have planned for those that are not able to see what's going on that's their mindset you know but they, they, they put it subliminally and those with eyes and ear those with eyes to see and ears to hear, they 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 it's 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 obvious for them. But the masses that are blind that don't see it, meanwhile it's available, they got the like hey, they they, they, they deserve to be slaughtered, man, as sheep. Yeah. That's their mentality, man. Yeah, the more the more they push it and people fall for their traps, the more power they get, you know, the 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 spirit that they worship is even more powerful and potent when they do it with their eyes wide open they walk into these traps you know i had a scripture that was for you earlier concerning when you came to to, to holland with your with, with with your reasoning but the most i had a different plan yeah. this is proverbs chapter 16 verse 9 a man's heart devises his way but the Lord Yahweh directed his steps. God, exactly that, man. You're like, okay, I got a plan. I got everything um, um, jotted down. I'm like, okay, in one year, I'm going to do this. Next year after that, I'm going to go to school. I'm going to go to college. And uh, what are the steps that I need to take to, to become this and that? Of course, it's good to have a plan. You should always have a plan. But the Most High directed your steps. You know, the Most High is in charge. He steers you where, you want, where he wants you to be. You see, even the people that fall out of the truth, you know, they come into the truth, bring certain other peoples into the truth, and then they fall out. That's uh, how the Most High uh, planned it for them. You see? Yeah, I had um, This is Romans chapter 11. And um, where do you want me to start? That's uh, that didn't bow down to me. And um, verse three. And this is concerning uh, what is it, Elijah? And he said, "Lord, they have killed thy prophets and dig down thine altars, and I am left alone, and they seek my life." <laughs> what say the answer of the Most High unto him? I have reserved to myself seven thousand men who have not bowed the knee to the image of Baal. So um, they have killed the prophets. What, what that sparked into my mind was like you had a couple of weeks back, I believe, this cat that came to the <laughs> elder Manatazah by his camp, you know, me mugging and be like, oh, okay, yes, yeah, do something, you know, forgot his bra at home. So he was standing there, you know, provoking and, and uh, you know, that's how our people are. Our people, they're hard headed, stiff necked. When you tell them this is the way, walkie in it, they don't want to uh, listen to it, you know, because basically that's the most high giving you a hand, giving you a helping hand, like, okay, um, now you have the chance to come back so that you won't be destroyed. But they are so brainwashed, like what we're going into, by these elites, their music that uh, causes them to think and be, become thugs, like, uh, you know, I gotta be mean, I gotta be, you know, all up in people's face, intimidating, stuff like that, you know, so he's gone, you know, he's a part of the society and he feels threatened by the prophets, you know, in the spirit, he's like, you know, he, he, he wants this empire to continue because he builds upon Esau, he builds upon this society, but we don't do that, we want the society to be uh, blown to smithereens, man. We want the society to come to an end. Like the brother said, we're sick and tired, you know, of, of uh, living this life. You know, this is not living. Uh, yeah, so uh, read again from the top, because when you said uh, they killed the prophets, that's what I was thinking about then. You know, they come in that spirit, the two thirds. This is Romans chapter 11 and verse three. Lord, they have killed thy prophets and dig down thine altars. And I am left alone, and they seek my life. But what said the answer of the Most High unto him? I have reserved to myself 7,000 men who have not bowed the knee to the image of Baal. Yeah, so 
just like uh, what we are going into, you have the left hand side that are doing the will of the Most High. Also, you have the right hand side that is doing the will of the Most High. You have the prophets. You might think it's like, okay, we have uh, 10, 12 brothers here in, in Holland. That's all. But, you know, all across the four corners of the earth, you have men, you know, that follow the truth, that have been given the truth, the spirit of truth that are not bowing down the kneel to Baal, which Baal is, is, a, is a god that they used to worship and still do worship. If you look at, what is it, mm, the, the, the Wall Street, Wall Street, you have a bull there, you know, also here in, yeah, and also in uh, Amsterdam Centrum, when we were standing there, also a, a stock market, you also had a bull over there, you know, they used to put the uh, heifers over here also, you know, which that represents that that spirit, Baal. So these people, they want uh, people to worship their, their their power, their God, which they worship. But uh, the man of the man that follows the ways of truth, you know, he's not he's gonna see these things. He's gonna also see these subliminal messages, just like when we are speaking about. Yeah, man, so we recognize these symbols, we recognize these spirits that they put upon these these uh, these statues, you know, and what they worship. So now you have people that are being reserved from the Most High that are not gonna worship their gods because Esau, you know, Esau has that Esau has that cup, you know, filled with abominations with all these other gods, you know, Egyptian gods, Assyrian gods, all these gods that that they worship is is one big mosh pit of of abominations to the Most High. Yeah, man. That's their wine. That's their uh, um, philosophies. Those are the things where with they, they make these nations drunken, make these people drunken with, you know, so that they come after the men of the Most High. This is Tobit chapter 1, starting in verse 4. When I was in my own country, in the land of Israel, being but young, all the tribe of Naphtali, my father fell from the house of Jerusalem, which was chosen out of all the tribes of Israel, that all the tribes who sacrificed there by the temple of the habitation of the Most High was consecrated and built for all ages. Now all the tribes uh, which together revolted and the house of my father Naphtali sacrificed unto the heifer Baal. Yeah, and um, also what it represents is, for example, the Planned Parenthood, you know, because what did they um, bring to Baal? What did they sacrifice to Baal? Children. You know, they put children, if you have that statue of Baal, that's a heifer with the hands out and uh, a fire that is um, roaring in the, belly, yeah, in the belly. So what do, do these people do? They take their children and then they throw it in the fire and then they sacrifice it to uh, Baal so that they can get riches, so that they can get money and uh, whatnot. You know? So Planned Parenthood, that's also our people sacrificing their children. You know, like the Most High, like it's written in, in, uh, in the Bible, the Most High, he requires the, the firstborn, you know. There's something special about the firstborn of, of, uh, of, uh, that opens the, the matrix, that opens the womb, you see. So we got a, a picture of them actually performing the, you know, the sacrifice. But you don't see that the belly is open. But here I got another picture which goes back to Moloch. But Moloch basically goes into the same thing. Which tests that heifer. And then underneath, you know, you do see the entrance where they can put the children when the fire is lit. Moloch, but Moloch. Yeah. Which Moloch is Lord, if you go into the translation. Yeah. Then Baal is also Lord. So that's why it's the same. Uh, you can look it up. Uh, yeah. 
Oh man, that's what I want me to do. Sir. <laughs> uh, the Romans was was not done. I don't know if you want that the remnant there's the remnant according to the next grace. You want that? No. no. Uh, what else you want? Yeah, the help we're doing. Again? Yeah. And again. So we started off with that. But that's the whole. That's that's the beauty there because now you have the whole. Everything is being laid upon the table. Like okay, this this is, these are these things are connected. Everything is connected. So now when you're gonna read that book, then. When I say certain things, then you're gonna understand it uh, even better. Even better, yeah. Which one, the book one or first one, for, first one and one or one and uh, yeah. Yeah, no, uh, yeah, five again, <laughs> and then we jump straight to six. This is uh, Habakkuk chapter one, verse five. Behold, ye among the heathen and regard and wonder marvelously, for I will work and work in your days, which ye will not believe, though it be told. Uh, can I speak on that? Yeah. Because one of the things that happened back in the days as well is when our people fell away, you know, uh, especially the Northern Kingdom, the, the Southern Kingdom, they thought that, that, that they, these people were, were literally done away with. So when Shai came back and he brought back, you know, that the information that it's also eventually regarding the uh, those that fell away, the uh, basically the circumcision or those that they were Jews was like, no, no, no. Can be true right they fell away but then the understanding was being brought forth like there's no way that you are able to justify yourself before the most high through the law therefore you need a mediator that is able to take away your sins you know and he is able to also grant that unto those that fell away at first you see yes yeah, like that image that they always portray in the christianity you have a cliff over here you have a other cliff <coughs> over there and who brings you to God? That they lay down the cross, the, the cross. but uh, forget about that, they make a bridge. And who's that bridge? Yahawashai. You know, because we were separated from the Most High. So the mediator, we need some something in between, somebody in between, and that's Yahawashai to be able to come back to the Most High. Verse uh, 6, Yeah, verse 6. Uh, Habakkuk 1 and 6. For lo, I raise up the Chaldeans, that bitter and hasty nation, which shall march through the breadth of the land to possess the dwelling places that are not theirs. So we went into the fact that the Chaldeans, those are the Illuminati, those are the ones behind the scenes, the ones that are doing these spells in Bohemian Grove and, and whatnot. You know, because uh, the Chaldeans, they were uh, soothsayers, sorcerers, witches. You see? Um, let me see, Chaldeans is Kasha, Kasha Dayama, which means the wise of the land. <coughs> and they do these uh, spells upon people, you know, like how you see, what, what, what's this guy, Biscuit? Or this, you see people dying at uh, shows, you know, they worship, they come in a certain vibration and people passing out, people dying, people jumping to their death. You know, so these are the spells that they put upon our people, these uh, incantations. And if you look up uh, incantation, it's a spell created by using words. So even with songs, you know, you can put a spell and a certain vibration upon a person. Like we were going into, they're make, making all our men thugs, you know, thinking that putting a certain vibration on them and calling all our uh, women uh, bitches and, and uh, thoughts, they put that vibration on them. You see? And they can shake it off. Uh, give me the Isaiah. Isaiah 47 and 1. Yeah, that's uh, what I gave him. It's Isaiah chapter 47 and verse 1. And Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground, there is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans. For thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. You see, so the daughter of Chaldeans, of the Chaldeans, so they are um, offspring of these Chaldeans. They walk in the, the ways of the Chaldeans. Like we just said, the Chaldeans are the ones that do sorcery, that do spells. So who were the, the Chaldeans back in the day? The, back in the day, you had um, the daughter of Babylon, the Babylon, the Babylonians. You know, they were the, the Chaldeans, but the modern day Chaldeans are the 
Illuminati. Just like how it says, the daughter of the Chaldeans, you also have the daughter of Babylon because the daughter of Babylon is America. Like we went into, you have that cup with all these abominations therein, which are these, um, these, 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 Shalom. God, shalom. Yeah, so you have the daughter of the Chaldeans, which are these uh, people in, in the Illuminati, you know, that put these spells, that own these uh, banks and everything. And then you have the daughter of, it also says in that same verse, the daughter of, the, of Babylon, which Babylon, daughter of Babylon, is the spitting image of the ancient Babylon, you know, because they worship the same gods like the ancient Babylonians, but they call it uh, different names. You have, uh, for example, Ishtar, which now is called Easter, you know, you have, they worship uh, a tree, you know, like it says in Jeremiah 10. You know, they, they deck a tree. That's also what they used to do in the time of uh, Babylon. You had a tree and you had um, ornaments in it. You can see, you can see uh, that they carved out in stones. You have these uh, hieroglyphs, which show you that they had gods like Dagon and all these, these gods, which are back, but yeah, under a new name or a different name. You know, there's no new thing under the sun, like the scripture says. So if you can read it again. This is Isaiah chapter 47 and verse 1. Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground, there is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. Yeah, so the Chaldeans from um, Habakkuk 1 is speaking about um, the same Chaldeans in this chapter also. Modern day. Yeah, the modern day Chaldeans. And the, and the daughter, the daughter of Babylon, the virgin daughter of Babylon, because if you go into that word virgin, it says, mind you, it says virgin. Virgin is uh, batwala, which means separated and um, secluded from men. So you have been, uh, there's, there's, a, there's a daughter of Babylon that is not touched, that is untouched. And who is untouched? Which nation, which people, <laughs> which country? Because it goes uh, into a country, the country of America. They are always the one that is raging war, but they themselves have never really been touched, like how they spoil these other nations. You see? They never suffered the loss of uh, children. Yeah. Uh, give me that in uh, Psalms 137. Psalms 137, verse 7. I think I know what you want. Uh, in the game. Yeah, that's, 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 that's good. Yeah. No, no. No, no. This is Psalms chapter 137 and verse 7. Remember, O Lord Yahweh, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem, who said, Raise it, raise it even to the foundation thereof. O daughter of Babylon, who art to be destroyed, happy shall he be that rewarded thee, as thou hast served us. You see, so in that same um, verse, it says, daughter of Esau. Uh, daughter of Babylon. Daughter of Babylon, which is daughter of Babylon, is Esau, as it's gonna say. Um, this is Psalms 137, verse seven. Remember, O Lord, Yahweh, the children of Edom, in the day of Jerusalem, who said, Raise it, raise it, even to the foundation thereof. O daughter of Babylon, who art to be destroyed, happy shall he be that rewarded thee, as thou hast served us. Yeah, man, so the daughter of Babylon, which is the daughter of uh, Edom, that shows you that those, those, that nation is that daughter of Babylon. That nation is the one that is going to be destroyed. But now they're they're untouched, they're unscathed, you know. 
and like the brother, you can you can get that script. Yeah. Because like the the brother is gonna read. They are untouched and they are uh, what is it called tender and delicate. You know, they are faring sumptuously. They have all the the, the riches. They have all the um, power in the world. You know, America. Because America is basically the their is the whore that sits upon the, the water, the, the whore that sits upon the beast and upon these many waters. You know, she is steering everything. Yeah, so, yeah, so um, we were now speaking about how the daughter of Babylon and the daughter of the Chaldeans, you know, that's Esau, but this is also speaking about the Illuminati. This is also speaking about the rich man. You know, the rich man is the is the, the, the one percent. You know, and we are Lazarus. We are at the bottom right now. We also we already went into that. We are at the bottom of the food chain, and that you have these Illuminati, the Chaldeans, that are on top. So this is a, this is a perfect precept that the brother holds. You know, because they fare sumptuously. They don't have the stress that we have, like we were going into. They don't um, think about okay, what what uh, bills do I have to pay? No, man. They they just make money. They just own land, own people. You see, so they don't have um, the, the stresses that Lazarus has. That's that rich man. That's uh, these Chaldeans, the, the one percent, the ruling uh, Amalekites. Yeah, to be make uh, luxurious. They live in luxury. Some person, yeah. yeah. So, the Isaiah, Isaiah 47. And uh, 2? Yeah. This Isaiah chapter 47 and verse 2. Take the millstone and grind meal. Uncover thy locks. Make bare the leg. Uncover the thighs. Pass over <laughs> the rivers. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Yeah. Thy shame sh shall be seen. I will take vengeance and I will not and I will not meet thee as a man. Yeah, so this is speaking about back back to uh, the daughter of Babylon, which is uh, America. It's speaking about how the Most High is gonna uncover her secret parts. The Most High is gonna um, show all the things that they do in the dark, you know? He's gonna set, he's gonna set them up so that uh, uh, everything is gonna be seen. Uh, let me see. the most high that's um, causing all of this to be made known and to be made seen because even though it's Esau that is that is snitching on his own nation on his own countrymen it's still the most high that's putting it in their spirits to, to do these things you know um, Satan against Satan Satan against Satan naturally Satan versus Satan. Satan versus Satan. Yeah. Yeah, you have it in Luke and in Matthew. Read the, the Nahum publication. <coughs> Nahum 3 and 5. Behold, I am against thee, saith the Lord Yahweh of hosts. I will discover thy skirts upon thy face, 
and I will show the nations thy nakedness and the kingdoms thy shame. Yeah, man. So the Most High is causing the this nation to be discovered because back in the day, people would look at Esau and you know they would respect him, they would do what he says. But nowadays, you know, all of his nastiness is, is being made known, is being made manifest. You see, so these these other nations, they're gonna uh, uh, be stirred up. They're gonna be they they want to take revenge on Esau. You know, they're gonna take a, a, a proverb <laughs> against him. But it's the Most High that put it in, puts that in their spirit. This is Lamentations 4 and 21. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwellest in the land of Uz. The cup also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken and shalt make thyself naked. You see? Beautiful, man. So the Most High said it, and shall it not be so? So now the Most High, he made Esau so drunken that, you know, he thinks he's on top of the world and that he, he, he can't be touched, he can't be taken down. Ah, so he's... he's that drunken and that prideful that uh, he's making himself bear, you know, through the spirit of power of Yahweh Bashem Yahashai, of course. And it's funny because I was watching uh, the video uh, of Elder Pastor Kabar on Isaiah the 24th chapter, and the thing that I thought about was what happened with uh, with Noah. You know, Noah drunk so much that, you know, uh, eventually he, uh, you know, basically, you know, got naked and then. You know, his, uh, his, his, his skirt was discovered, man, by his, uh, by his son, you know. That was what I was thinking about as well. And, and now the brother said he was making himself, Esau was making himself so drunk that he's doing it himself, you know, exposing his own BS that he's doing. Yeah, um, because like the scripture says, if Satan is against Satan, how can his uh, kingdom stand? Kingdom stand. But yeah man, so Esau is being made bare right now. You know? He also he received that cup of the most high, you know, so that he can uh, have the people under subjection he has his empire right now but he has taken it far overboard so the most is like okay now is the time that i'm gonna right about now i'm gonna take you down you know so the truth came um through the spirit of power of yahweh and, and now even more truth is, is being spread you know continually you have things that uh esau has been doing for years are being uh, made known you know? <coughs> the pollution the the poisoning of the people you know, all of a sudden everybody is vegan, you oh, yeah. see, because they, they, they start to see that Esau is poisoning the food, he's poisoning the people with the chemtrails and with, with the water, you know, with the fluoride in the water, calcifying your pineal gland, you see. So the three main things that you, your body needs to sustain itself is, is water, air and food, he pollutes all of those three, but he himself, he has the, the best pieces of meat the best uh, 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 foods, you know. He makes sure that where he dwells at, that he, those places are not being sprayed, you see? Because the cities where Jake is at, that's the ones that are, are being sprayed the most. You see all these crosses and checkerboards in, in, the, uh, in the air, you know? Upside down, yeah, upside down stars, you know, uh, um, sacrificing onto their power, onto their God, you see? Yeah, cross also. Matthew. Chapter 12, verse 26. Uh, uh, Matthew chapter 12, verse 26. In the and them the is 
symbol. So uh, let me read it. Do you can you can you understand that when you read? No, you can read it. You can read it. Okay. Cool. Uh, Matthew chapter um, twelve, first. Uh, twenty-five and twenty-six. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Um, Matthew chapter twenty. Sorry, Matthew chapter Matthew chapter twelve, verse twenty-five. And how shall I know their talk? And say unto them, Every kingdom defined against itself is brought to desolation, and every city or house defined against itself shall not stand. And if Satan cast out Satan, he is defied against himself. How shall then his kingdom stand? Gone. So that's what's going on right now. For example, with these <clears throat> these people that are bringing out the truth, these um, whistleblowers. You know, most of them are Edomites. You know that have been uh, juiced in or that have been doing certain things behind the scenes. They are making Esau's secrets bare. You see. So if Esau's house is divided against himself, it's not going to be able to stand. It starts with these uh, with these whistleblowers, but also you have. Um, Russia. Russia is also Esau, but Russia is against America. So these these two, they don't like each other, they don't mix, but they're the same the same house, they're the same uh, person, the same, the same nationality. So, yeah, so like the most I said, if a kingdom is set against itself, if Satan is set, set against himself, he's not going to be able to stand. So that's what's happening right now, man. Esau's rulership is circling down the drain and it's all crumbling. Yeah, and Europe will hate America. Yeah. It's soon the same uh, Britain, hate Britain is, America. Yeah, Britain is going to hate America. The yeah. mother that, uh, what, what does the scripture say? The mother that bore you, bear you, is going to be so displeased with yeah. you. Yeah. You see? So, America came out of Britain. But even Britain is gonna hate America for yeah, what they're doing. Yeah. yeah, and those three are the same people: uh, yeah, America, okay. Britain, Russia. Yeah. I have the it. Yeah, you can read it. The second Esther chapter two and verse two. The mother that bare them said unto them, "Go, go your, go your way, ye, ch ye children, for I am a widow and forsaken." No, 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 no. Sword, sword is please. You gotta look up for sword is please. Give me your piece This is Revelation chapter 13 and verse 2. And the beast which I saw was likened to a leopard, and his feet were as the feet of a bear, and his mouth as the mouth of a lion, and the dragon gave him his power, and his seed and great authority. And um, this beast is referring to the um, revived Roman Empire. Yeah, which is the EU and the NATO, the go, leopard. Go, go back, uh, read again. This is uh, Revelation 13 and 2. And the beast which I saw was likened to a leopard, and his feet were as the feet of a bear, and his mouth as the mouth of a lion, and the dragon gave him his power, and his seed, and great authority. God, so the, the leopard, which the leopard represents uh, Alexander the, the Greek, Alexander the Greek, that's where they're... Um, uh, empire started off with you know and then you have the bear which the feet of the bear the feet what does the feet represent the end you know you have the top and then you have the the, the end of a thing so the end of this empire is gonna be the bear and the bear is uh, Russia and then you have the lion and his mouth his mouth as the mouth of a lion which the lion represents uh, Britain Great Britain uh, and the dragon gave him his power and his seat and great authority yeah man so that's how you see it's, it's one beast with uh divini not definition uh dividing within itself yeah because what you said with uh, how shall the kingdom stand lest you know uh, if a house is divided against itself how shall this kingdom stand you know so if, if the most that puts the spirit upon russia to be against america meanwhile they're they're the ones to be you know in authority and their kingdom is going to crumble because these are two quote-unquote superpowers, man. Yeah. That have a way, way different mentality, man. The thing that you can do in America, if you do, do that in Russia, 
Hey, I don't know what they're gonna do with you, man. They're gonna kill you or kick you out of the land, man. You know, there there are no sissies in the in the, in, the, in the Russian army, man. Yeah. And uh, to make it even simpler and on a smaller scale, what did Esau do with uh, the household of the Israelites? You know, he divided it. You know, the man he sent away, the woman he sent away, the children he sent away during slavery, and even now he divided the, the household that if um, a woman doesn't want to be with the man or if she kicks out the man then uh, she's gonna get more benefits you know that's that that whole um, serpent beguiling Esau you see so Esau he divides the the household so that he has more um, so that the power the power in the, the house it, it it dwindles you know there's no 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 household to, to stand upon because the man is gone you know the head is gone the head of the family the ones that's supposed to make the important decisions or steer steer the rest he's gone so how can the house stand if it's divided he's on no knows these things and that's what he's uh using in his tactics is you fighting so this is the sound right um no i think i think he's killing something oh no 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 i don't think he's Okay, give me the Isaiah. Read on in the Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 47 and verse 4. As for our Redeemer, the Lord Yahweh of hosts, is his name, the Holy One of Israel. Sit thou silent and get thee into darkness. O daughter of the child being, for thou shalt no more become the lady of kingdoms. Yeah, man, so uh, you had the Nahum, right? I had. Yeah. <laughs> Let me see. Three or five? Yeah. Because she is called the lady of kingdoms. She is the, 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 the harlot that sits upon the beast. You know, she rules all these 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 uh, nations with with rigor and with uh, all these these false. How should I call it? They they make a contract, but they break their own contracts. You see, but they still have have rulership over these these nations. They go in a country and they set up a embassy over there. It's like me coming in your house and telling you that your wife should cook this and this and that for me. You know, so that's how Esau is. Esau is the one that goes into these countries and, and uh, tells them how to rule their country. So they are the, the, Esau is the lady of kingdoms. America is the lady of kingdoms because in every country you have an American embassy. You see? Actually, uh, go ahead, Vito. For six, I was brought with my people I have polluted my inheritance and given them into thy hand. Thou didst show them no mercy upon the Asian as thou very, very heavily laid thy yoke. Yeah, so the Most High, he was wrought with his people. He, he polluted his inheritance. You know, he caused us to go into captivity and lose our heritage. But the way Esau did it, he didn't show uh, no mercy, you know. He didn't have... Uh, mercy upon the, the people with the gray hair, upon the ancient. So that's how, how Esau rules. He rules with uh, rigor, with no mercy. You see? Go ahead. Uh, verse 7. And thou, and thou sayest, I shall be a lady forever, so that, so that thou didst not lay these things to thy heart, Neither did it. Neither did it. Remember the latter end of it. Revelation 18 and 17. Can I read again, Baba Kshar? And thou and thou sayest, I shall be a lady forever, so that thou didst not lay these things to thy heart. Neither did it. Remember the latter end of it. You see, so he saw. He thinks like, hey, I'm gonna be a lady forever. I'm constantly gonna be in charge here. You know. But he doesn't, he doesn't think about the, the latter end. You know, like, hey, uh, let me just take it easy on these people. Let me just take it easy on, on the earth. Because if you come, 
you know, like the scripture says, he's going to come upon, come upon the people with great wrath, Revelation 12 and 12. If you come with that hastiness, then the Most High is also going to come with hastiness. But if you would keep the laws of the land, if you would keep the land Sabbath or whatnot, maybe your empire would last longer. But <coughs> he has no mercy upon me, not even his own people. You see? Uh, Revelation. This is uh, Revelation chapter 18 and verse, uh, yeah. verse 7. How much she hath glorified herself and lived deliciously. So much torment and sorrow give her, for she saith in her heart, I sit a queen and am no widow and shall see no sorrow. You see? So how much she had glorified herself. She, she was so proud. You know, nobody can touch me. I'm, I'm, I'm uh, you know, an unscathed people. I'm, I'm basically, uh, how do you call it? You have this force field around you. Nobody, me. nobody can touch you. But the Most High says, you have to bring uh, torments and sorrows upon her. You should give her. And that's what's going to happen. When we have that spiritual powers, that's when we are going to bring onto her double, like how, how she treated us. You know, they treated us with no mercy during slavery. So when we have uh, dominion over the Edomites, we're not gonna have any sorrow, man. You know? Yes. Yeah. Why? Reward her double. So it, uh, read again, Bobby. This is Revelation chapter 18 and verse 7. How much she has glorified herself and lived deliciously. So much torment and sorrow give her, for she saith in her heart, I sit a queen and am no widow, and shall see no sorrow. You see, so the, the, the pride thereof, man. <coughs> so prideful, the Americans, uh, they're so prideful, like, hey, I'm, I'm in, the, in the ruling seat, I'm in a country that you know, even when they go to these other countries, people despise these Americans. They have this this uh, thing about them, the, these this awe of themselves. They think themselves to be very great, you know. But they are gonna be brought low, you know. Esau, America is gonna be brought low. They're not gonna be sitting a queen forever. So, go back to Isaiah 47, verse 8. Um, Ezekiel 38 and 11. Yes, Isaiah chapter 47 and verse 8. Therefore, therefore, hear now this, thou that art given to pleasures, oh, yeah, yeah. that dwellest careless, carelessly, that sayest in thy heart, I am, and none else beside me. I shall not sit as a widow, neither shall I know the loss of children. But these two things shall come to thee in a moment, in a day, the loss of children and widowhood. They God. shall. So uh, uh, read up again. It's Isaiah chapter 47 and verse 8. Therefore, hear now this thou that, thou that art given to pleasures. Yeah, that's uh, dwelling uh, deliciously and sumptuously, America. You know, listen. That dwellest carelessly, that sayest in thy heart, I am, and none else beside me. Yes, yeah, she dwells carelessly because um, if you go into certain places in America, America, America doesn't have a wall. America, does, you can just ride into America. You know, you can just drive into America. They dwell carelessly, but they go to other people's uh, countries to rage war but they themselves they you know they got their own um, backyard not fence they are not you know just like how these other countries they are con continually in, in, a, in a way of uh, alert and at war but America they're not scared man you see so they dwell carelessly yeah well, also because America is always in these other countries so they'd be like, you know, we don't need no protection within our country of ourselves. That's why all these other nations are uh, alert, like the brother said, because they do need to be constantly, you know, sharp for enemy coming in. 
But America be like, no, you know, we don't need that. We're the best, you know, we're strong. Yeah, exactly. We got the blessing, you know, we got this, that, and the third. Meanwhile, you know, time's gonna come when everything is gonna be shot towards America. They can't do shit. Nothing. Yeah. No protection. Yeah, so you get that in uh, Revelation 18. That's the next verse also. Loss is gonna come in one day. Can't go ahead. That says in thy heart, I am, and none else beside me. I shall not sit as a widow, neither shall I know the loss of children. But these two things shall come to thee in a moment, in a day, the loss of children and widowhood. They shall come upon thee in their perfection for the multitude of thy, of thy sorceries and for the great abundance of thy enchantments. You see, so that's how this country is ruling the earth with incantations, with sorceries, with uh, enchantments. You know, like you just read, the cup of abomination, the cup that is also uh, passed through um, Esau's hand. You know, the cup of <coughs> rulership, but also the cup of abominations, the things that the Most High hates. You see? So through their wine, they, they, they rule these countries. Through their wine, through their philosophies, through their sorceries, that's how they, they keep everything intact. But in one day, widowhood is going to come to them. They're going to have the loss of children. And that's going to be through these uh, ICBM missiles, intercontinental nuclear ballistic missiles. You know, that are going to be straight away pointed at America and it's going to be laid desolate. Okay. This is uh, Revelation 18 and verse 8. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire. For strong is the Lord Yahweh who judgeth her. And the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and lived deliciously with her shall bewail her and lament for her when they shall see, when they shall see the smoke of her burning. Yeah, man. So in one day, in one hour, that place is going to be laid desolate, America. And also the kings that, sub, uh, that, that were uh, doing business with her, that dwelt deliciously with her because America was doing uh, import and export, you know, they were um, having that, that petrol dollar, you know, so people were selling onto America. That great country is going to be desolate, so they're not going to have a, a business partner anymore. So that's why they also are going to be sad for a moment. I got a precept. Go this is Revelation chapter 17 and um, Verse 11, and the beast that was and is not, even he is the eighth and is of the seven and goeth into perdition. So when it says that, um, and he is the eighth and is of the seven, this is referring to America that came forth out of, out of Britain, like the brother said earlier, man. But America is the, is, is the place where perdition is gonna take place, which perdition goes into destruction, man. The whole land of America is going to be a desert. Only these desert type creatures are going to inhabit the land and America is going to be an example, man. For those that live afterwards, like this is what happened with those that lived in this and this way, man. They were these and these people, you know? It's like a, some type of history, you know, class that you that were gonna take a children, like, hey, you know, you see this? This is what happened back then, you know? Mommy and daddy and this and that, you know, your little brother, this and that. You know, we used to live right in the old world. That type of thing is going to happen. Yeah, it's just like how Sodom and Gomorrah is an example because they don't even teach about Sodom and Gomorrah. But if you Google it, if you look on YouTube, you're going to see that the, the, the phosphor that is over there, you know, it can still be ignited, you know? <coughs> so it's not a, a fairy tale story, Sodom and Gomorrah. It's, a, it's something that really happened, you know? And that's also going to be with America. America is also going to be known for the things that they have done you know it's going to be made desolate just like how Sodom and Gomorrah is made desolate and nothing grows over there uh, actually Ezekiel 38 yes. gonna grab it for you we forgot to pull that on verse 8 it's on verse 8 actually I'll grab it for you and your brother yeah. especially for you Because of Patraeus, boy, you're really 
38 and 11, eh? Yeah. This is Ezekiel chapter 38 and verse 11. And thou shalt say, I will go up to the land of unwalled villages. I will go to them that are at rest, that dwell safely, all of them dwelling without walls and having neither bars nor gates. You see, so this is uh, Ezekiel 38 speaks on how Russia is going to make war with America. So now Russia has put it in, in her mind to go up against the land of the north, which is America, that dwells carelessly, that dwells without bars and without uh, walls, because they are that proud, you know? They think that they are uh, the, the police of the world <coughs> and they can't be touched. But the Most High is going to put it in Russia, their mind to, you know, to go after this country, to go after America. You see? Yeah. Uh, I should have leave it to So read on in uh, Isaiah 47. God. It's Isaiah chapter 47 and verse 10. For thou hast trusted in thy wickedness. Thou hast said, None seeth me. Thy wisdom and thy knowledge, it hath preferred it thee. And thou hast said in thy heart, I am, and none else beside me. Yeah, man, so this reminds <coughs> me also of uh, Daniel. You know, they are wiser than the children of Daniel. You know, they are the children of the dark. And they have been given this left hand uh, side knowledge, but it perverted their mind like, hey, we can't be touched, you know, we, we do everything according to uh, what these, these deities tell us. But you forget, these deities also are in the hand and in the power of the Most High. So after a while, the Most High is going to take away the power that these left hand side demons have. And Esau is going to be, I already see it with the weather. When Esau says tomorrow is going to rain, these deities be giving them a uh, uh, um, suit saying like it's gonna rain, it's gonna be this and that. The next day, jack shit. Yeah, it's, it's, it's all different than uh, their weather forecast. So they're losing their grip and their power because they themselves are messing around with these things. They uh, use uh, geo, what do you call it? Geoengineering. Yeah, geoengineering for, for uh, bringing rains for. Um, with these chemtrails also they are engineering these these storms all these uh how do you call it lucy and all these uh, female names that they give these hurricanes they're all geoengineered man you see so his mind is perverted he's he's drunken of that wine and he's like yeah man it doesn't matter what i do i'm not going to be taken out of position out of my rulership but the most high is going to stop these these left hand side demons for giving you the wisdom that you have and you're going to be in, in, in uh, a total shock you, you want the uh, jeremiah uh, you want ezekiel 28 with the wiser than daniel yeah this is ezekiel chapter 28 verse 3 behold thou art wiser than daniel there is no secret that they can hide from thee yeah so Esau is wiser than Daniel now, you know, he um, he has been given the knowledge of the left hand side and also they dig, they excavate, they go and, and look up things, what's, what are written in the Bible, you know, and they see that hey, the Bible is, is, is true, the, the Bible is true, all these things that are being said in the in the Bible with, um, for example, treasures or, or uh, David. yeah, they're, they're all finding these things, so they are wiser than Daniel. But the Mosai is going to take that away. Um, you want the uh, your mother? Shall we start with that? Yeah. yeah. Uh, this is Jeremiah chapter 50, starting at verse, uh, verse 11. Because ye were glad, because ye rejoiced, O ye destroyers of mine heritage. Because ye are grown fat as the heifer at grass, and, be and, and bellow as bulls. Your mother shall be sore confounded, she that bear you shall be ashamed. Behold, the hindermost of the nations shall be a wilderness. The, hinder, dry, the, hindermost. the hindermost of the nations shall be a wilderness, a dry land, and a desert. What the Bible is 50 and? 50 and uh, uh, both 11 and 12, and uh, also verse 13. Uh, I wanna, I wanna... 
Verse 11, sorry? Yeah. This is uh, Jeremiah 15 and 11. Because ye were glad, because ye rejoiced, O ye destroyers of mine heritage, because ye are grown fat as the heifer at grass, and bellow as bull. Yeah, man. So Esau, he's the destroyer of the heritage of the Most High because uh, uh, Jeremiah 50 speaks upon the prophecy against <coughs> Babylon, which ancient Babylon wasn't um, uh, destroyed by fire. It was uh, taken over. Taken over. Yeah. Hmm. So this is a future time prophecy where the destroyers of the heritage of the Most High, the ones that beat it out of us, you know, the ones that kept it in place, that uh, uh, kept it a secret that we are the Israelites, those, they are going to, they were grown fat, you know, they have all the, the great places on earth, they have old money, they have money from way back, like we were reading, they leave the substance onto their babes, babes you know, so they have grown fat, you know, they are fat with, with the... Uh, Substance. Yeah, substance and with, with all the things that they took from people. Yeah, so they, they are grown fat. They are grown fat for the slaughter. They're gonna spew it out just like how, what does it say, Job, Job 20. You know, what, right around when he's gonna fill his belly, the Most High is gonna let him vomit it up. Mm, no, no, no. Verse 12, your mother shall be sore confounded, she that bear you shall be ashamed, behold the hindermost of the nations, <laughs> shall be a wilderness, a dry land, and a desert. Yeah, so your mother which, uh, your mother shall be sore confounded, she that bear you, so the mother is speaking about Britain, you know, like we were going into, you have America, Russia, Britain, they're all the same nation, but still the, the mother, which is Britain, is going to be so confounded and she's going to be mad. She's going to be angry at America for the, the things that uh, they're, they're speaking with their mouth, you know, which the president is speaking, the things, the, the, the pride of their heart. Yeah. So she that bear you shall be ashamed because America came out of Britain. Go ahead. Uh, verse 13 because of the wrath of the Lord Yahweh it shall not be inhabited but it shall be wholly desolate everyone that goeth by Babylon shall be astonished and hiss at all her plagues like the spirit man is just what you were reading in Revelation 18 when these bombs are going to drop in uh, Babylon you know Babylon the great which is America they are all going to hiss at the plagues the, these other nations you see because ancient Babylon wasn't destroyed by fire but this Babylon is gonna be destroyed by fire see yeah it's gonna be laid desolate and waste yeah Babylon if you go into that word Babylon it means it goes back to Babal which is confusion yeah. Yeah. Rules in America is bullshit, pop nature. That's why you need to be destroyed, man. Yeah. <coughs> oh, how? Yeah. Oh, this is. This is huh? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, girl, I'm going to fit. <laughs> but I was saying, um, <coughs> America is a um, um, bullshit, you know, a um, abomination. You know why? Because they have all the gays and all the bullshit garbage. And they, what I see in the um, video today, um, in uh, Instagram, somebody posted a video that the woman had the arm, uh, the man was uh, tied up. Oh, yeah, so it, walk, yeah, yeah, silver. Oh, yeah, silver. Oh, yeah. They feel freedom, man. You can't do that in America, man. That's why it was like a time of America. America needs to be destroyed and gone. Yeah. Shit, man. It's That's why it's a bunch of confusion over I there. Confusion. <laughs> Yeah, yeah I, I saw that video that you're speaking about. I think it's a mole by woman, a small short yeah. woman with and a guy on the leaf. Then he has a big. Yeah, yeah, so they think. Esau want her, but he be a slave for her walking with a fucking jockey with all the makeup, all the body. Bikini, he was bikini. Yeah, oh, bikini. yeah. Bikini, bikini, shit. What is this? America, man. What kind of America is that? 
the rules in America is freedom. They can do anything in there. So that's confusion, man. They need to be destroyed. That's why the most I will destroy America soon. Even the person who's speaking about that, America will be destroyed by nuke. So the destruction is coming, man. Yeah, man. So, um, yeah, if you, if you have children and you walk the street with your children and all of a sudden you yeah. see that, how yeah, are you going to explain that? that? How are you going to protect them from that? You know? It's fucked up, man. Yeah, these uh, trannies going to um, schools and breeding for them, and I see a whole bunch of things where they, they want to promote these uh, trannies, and then they go to a certain bar with their children, and they want to teach their children like, yeah, these people are okay. The, ch the child's looking no, like, what the man. fuck? Scared. Yeah. No, no. The parents are like, no, 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 no. He's not gonna do anything. See a big ass uh, tranny guy with a, maybe a dildo hey, between us, you know? And then they, they, they walk like that in front of children. Yeah, man. And also, they put in a series, that, uh, not series, uh, a movie. They show you that uh, for black people, you know? I forgot what the name, what the man name, he always saw him put up himself like a woman. He's a oh, famous man. Oh, Madea? Yeah. No. Oh, yeah, Madea. Oh, yeah, Madea, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I didn't want to watch it, man. I didn't want to watch it. But I don't like it. Yes. But then, I put it on to see oh. what's going to happen. You know, my spirit tell me go wash it, but spirit tell me look something there. So what happened there, they want to show you that the man had to dress like a woman. Okay. And also, um, they show you um, the man from Irish. He come in, um, in America to go to his um, friend, his best friend, but that's his boyfriend. They put it on a fucking show. And they are questions. They are questions, man. What the heck is this man? They accept this and they see the people be like, oh, whoa, oh, oh. whoa. They feel like questions, you know? Yeah, they yeah. accept that fucking homos. But then, the, behind the secret, then that man from Eros, he take his mother. He want to marry his mother. But they just fuck up, man. This is bullshit. That's why I was like, hey, oh, shit. Enough. But it's not for me, man. But this, this is why they're doing this uh, confusion. The thing that they want to do is okay with that. Show the people that oh, oh it's normal. Show the black people to see it's normal. Kid is normal. To them, well, yeah, it's not so. That's why I need to destroy man. Okay, go back when you wash man. Now he had this picture for you because oh, of the okay, go on, go on. To the one of me. To the one of me. Scupter. Twenty two. I have uh, the the brother was going into first five first five to the water me chapter twenty two first five so not fear the so he said to the one chapter 22 verse 5 the woman shall not wear that which permitted Unto a man, neither shall a man put on a woman garment. For all that do so are abomination unto the most high, the power, by sin, the house. Yeah, like the brother was going into, you know, he saw this uh, series or movie yeah, where uh, Medea, she was wearing clothes, which actually is a man, you know, so he saw again. Uh, turning everything upside down he wants a man the scripture says a man should not wear that what pertains to a woman yeah, but what does he yeah. do he takes that and he emasculates our men you know most of the the time it's our men that he pushes that towards 
George Barkley I seen in it, Martin Lawrence, you, you got yeah. all of them, the, all the, of the famous, movie star. yeah, all of the movie stars, he puts that vibration upon them, you know, that's like a um, initiation for them yeah. to get to the next step. Yeah. Kevin Hart also, you know, yeah. 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 So, so the French back spare to be different spare. Yeah, breaking, yeah. breaking the spirit. The same thing, the woman was here. Yeah, the same woman who um, made this special. You would block her. Oh, the video, yeah. yeah. That's her. Yeah, yeah. He's just talking about her. It's okay. It's a miracle. The woman, the rest of the like a small of because the clothes smell from the tough. He's saying that the woman, he's saying that the woman that uh, take off a shirt yeah. to be like um, how manly uh, wear like you know the abs is back or something. But she have a titty, you know, but it's small. <laughs> So you can see it, but she played dumb like she's a man. But the titty right here. What the fuck is she doing? Man, get the fuck out of here with that, man. <laughs> yes. Romans, yes. Romans, Romans 1, Romans, Romans 1, verse 25. Step, sir, up. Hold up, read up. Yeah. Have here. So the brother was going into uh, Medea and that they're breaking our men, making them effeminate, you know, they're pushing that vibration. And don't forget, like we were uh, speaking about, Esau, he works with um, sorcery and incantations, enchantments. So now, if you go to Wiki and you search for Medea, then you get a god. You have a, Medea is the name of a Greek god. So now they put the name of Medea upon that man, the Israelite man, but actually it's a, a Greek goddess. So he didn't it, even know what he doing, man. See? They give him that name. This yeah, is uh, okay, then, yeah. it's uh, Medea uh, Medea on Wikipedia. In Greek mythology, Medea, ancient Greek for is the daughter of King Atis or Calsin Calsis a niece of Cyrus and the granddaughter of the sun god, Helios. Medea figures in the myth of, the Medea figures in the myth of Jason and the Argonations appearing in Osiot, Asiot, Theo, all these uh, difficult names. <laughs> Asiot, Theogony, around uh, 700 BC, but best known for Euripides, Euripides uh, tragedy, Medea, and Apollonius of Rhodes epic, yeah, whatever. So <laughs> the thing is, you can Google it yourself. Medea is actually a Greek goddess. So you can't really see the name. See if it focus better. But yeah, man. So they're putting spells upon our people without our people even knowing it. Yeah. See, this is what happened there, man. Isa did that. Isa put suppression on it. You know why? Because he was um the man who he named Tarry. Um Tarry 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 what? Tyler Perry. Tyler Perry. Huh? Tyler Perry. Uh, Tyler Perry. Okay. So he was uh, a Christian of um to a sinner of um you know the like a to call gospel. Yeah. Church, something like that. So he made a drama stuff like this, you know? He, he used to make uh, Salakia. He used to make plays. Oh. You know, on not on movies but plays, like where you go when you sit in the hall and then you see people mm. act and then they take the curtain they pull the curtain again so that's how he started oh, but then okay. they see the talent or he worshiping them and stuff and then he gets put yes. higher so they that's used to right. have plays i remember 
I remember you used to have the DVD with, with uh, them, you know? Yeah. That's why, right. from there, I want to say, they, they are questioned about that for people that like it, you know? As soon as you want to become more famous, and then you go and jump on that thing, but uh, Matea, you know? Then you have to dress up like fucking bullshit. According to Esau, Esau the temple, the sucker white man is a temple man, he deceive everyone. And now they go and beat this road too. Fuck man. Okay, go ahead. So go back to the. Do you have some you you sir? You tell him Roman, Roman Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Romans 1 and 25. Yeah. Roman? Yeah, my Romans. Scepter 1. First. He said, uh, Roman chapter chapter 1, verse 25. Who sets the truth of power and do a lie and worship and serve the greater more the, the greater? Who is blessed forever? Amen. Yeah, it was, it was something else. Zuki. Zuki. Uh, Romans 1. 23? Yeah. Now with the, that they, they went to their own lusts. Uh, yeah, yeah, the next one. Next verse. The on the form. The Yeah. You see, so this also goes, goes back to what we were speaking on, that we were worshipping, our forefathers were worshipping devils, worshipping uh, the create, the creature, you know, things that are created in heaven, things that are created on the water, you know, that's what our people were into, worshipping that. So what did the Most High do? For this curse, God gave them up a good fill. What you were speaking on? Okay, um, Romans chapter uh, 1, verse uh, 26. Yeah, 25. Uh, yeah, you can start at 25 and 26. Okay. First 25. Who shares the truth of power into a lie and worship and serve <laughs> the pressure both than the greater who is blessed forever? Amen. First what it says, for this cause the power give them up unto fell a pleasure for every for every young woman. The natural used to do that which is against natural. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you see, oh, so yeah, uh, the Most High, he sees what uh, the nation of Israel was doing in the dark, worshipping these other, um, uh, committing idolatry, actually, you know, worshipping other things, other gods. So the Most High, he gave them up to file affections. He's like, okay, now you uh, you want to do these things? You want to be sneaky behind my back? Okay, I'm going to cause your, your, even your women to lust after other women. Like yeah. the brother was going into, you know, that they uh, walk shirtless, they um, with their flat chest, or they get it operated. They, also, they get it oh, operated, God. and yeah. And, and then, then you see the light, uh, star. Yeah, yeah, star. yeah, yeah. yeah. bent off. I'm the bear. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. See how that feel like a dog guy, man? Get the fuck out of They popping, man. they uh, swallowing uh, testosterone, pills. The and testosterone. the hormone? Yeah. And the hormone to give you everything. And yeah. the voice like a heavy man. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's true. The natural is gone. The most yeah. I, I think the most I'll change it. It's just going to be like this. Sirak. 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 15. First, thirteen. Yeah, so you. So. And, uh, apple, village. Abomination. They, the fair, God, 
He that feared the most side, the Hawa Bashim now shall love it not. So, exactly what you might think like, hey, why are these men continually speaking about other people there? there? You know, it's them, leave them. If they want to do that, cut it off, uh, leave it. If they want to be gay, if they want to be homosexual, leave it. You know, that's what people might think. But what the scripture says, you know, the, the, most, the most high, he hates abominations, which the word abomination is a filthy act. So he hates these filthy acts. And the men of the Lord, they hate it too. Yeah. You know, like it says in the book of uh, Psalms, Psalms 91. That's why the most I show you what he hate for us to hate too. Yeah. So we can see what is not good. Because it's not good, man. So you have the same PD like the most I also like. Yeah. Psalms 97. See? 97. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Can I say something? Yeah. But, you know, concerning what, you know, the scripture says, you know, don't be saying these things to job, man. You know, if they ask you what you think about, you know, these type of people, just tell them, yeah, let them do their things. But that's when you put on the, you know, basically the, 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 the iceberg suit, man. The iceberg suit, you go to your job, put your iceberg suit on, and you act, you know, and you portray yourself in a way that is to be at peace with all men. But when you leave the job, then you turn back on your Superman suit or your brown bear suit, man. But in the spirit, man, so you can unload, so you can So, but you know in, in the face of those people that you know we work with man portray a different image than that we actually have to stand for in this truth man. the wise as a serpent and harmless as a dove they don't need to be knowing what we actually you know think and and, and, and preach you know be wise concerning that man but in the spirit we do need to hate these things you understand what i mean yeah, but when you're at the job, you know, don't say, I hate those no, people. No, no. But the most I'll show you, this is what yeah. this is in the world. So you need to hate this thing it's in the world. But the most I also say, love your, uh, no, no, no. You say, yeah, uh, yeah, be peace on your enemy. Yeah. Just be, that? Yes, that? yeah. Be peace on your enemy. So, and also, uh, <laughs> I remember the scripture that say, um, if it's your enemy, give them the uh, what? Uh, when you're hungry, drink. Give them drink. When you, I mean, when you're hungry, give them eat. And uh, when they're thirsty, give them drink. So, but they are your enemy. But, you know? But then, so we keep this uh, We see everything, what is are doing. Because according to uh, the book of Job, chapter 9, verse 24, he has the world in his hand. So he can do all kind of shit. The most I was given to them, Okay, so we used to have it, but we we doing some sin, you know. Back in the day, King David, King Solomon was the king of Israel, so we used to have power over everything. But then we fall, then we come back again, then we fall again to slavery, so we lose everything. You understand? So now Israel take the world now. He have power for everything. He have a partner for us. He can do whatever they want. But we can. So you see it yourself. That's why we're going to do the work of the Hawa Bashim and then the kingdom come. End of the time. Then we take over. We are next. Then we keep the law. Understand? I got a precept on what the brother was speaking about. This is uh, Proverbs 12, verse 23. A prudent man concealeth knowledge, but the heart of fools proclaimeth foolishness. So the brother was speaking about when you're at your job, you know, you shouldn't speak about this truth. You shouldn't speak about certain things. So that's what the scripture says. A prudent man, if you're, if you're prudent, you're wise, then you conceal knowledge. You know when you're supposed to keep it behind, yes. you know, at, at the job, you shouldn't speak about these things. Just like how the scripture also says, don't give your pearls on the swine, you know, when you see uh, an Israelite that is fixated in the ways of this world, that is, uh, uh, you know, um, how you call it, a friend of this world, then you're not going to throw this wisdom, knowledge, understanding at his, uh, at him, you know, because he's not going to get it. He's going to be, he's going to be like, okay, yeah, 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 it's good. Yeah, half is like a dog. Like, like uh, the, that picture. You also have a picture, a meme where somebody is driving away it's a cartoon so you have uh, somebody in a car driving away and then you have this kind of bear he's like yeah man that uh, 
that cousin of mine, he was here again, you know, the Israelites speaking about Israel and blah, 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 you so, while he's driving away. So in your face, he might be like, yeah, 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 okay, okay. But then when you drive away, like, okay, I did a good thing. I explained it to him. Yeah. Then he's going to call his friend like, you see that, that motherfucker stupid cousin of mine, he was here preaching again to me, blah, blah, blah. So don't give your pearls to swine, man. They, they're going to trample, trample it. Trample when you when you feel your application or something and then you could see uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Chinder, right? Chinder, Chinder, Chinder. Chinder, right? You could see a male, a, a blessed F, F, M, and uh, what else was that? Us, right? Yeah, it was an F. A X of something. Yeah, okay, that's perfect. That's perfect. You see, male, female, and um, Oh no, it's you know? And then um, I said nothing. But that, he was talking about that. That's why the SM me would sing like. Oh, I need it. I need it. You don't want nobody to know about that. That, give me the passport. No. Why? Even the passport is a work behind that shit in there. So you can't see if this is a man or a woman. If a cop gets you, then he say, I don't know if you're a man or a woman. It doesn't matter. Then he will see that your face and your name. That's it. Yeah. 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 Okay. And that's why you can play as your friend. Oh, just like this. Okay? Man. Yeah. The border. About shake. About you. ID. ID. We are you. Who are you? But I the sense passport book. Is it okay? Okay. A sickness. Yeah. If it don't say nothing, uh, then it's who are you? Who are you? Who are you? You know? So that's why. This is fucked up now. He's not doing kind of shit now. Yeah. More shit, man. About the passport, you know the passport. Let's say if you transsexual. I want to call you. Thank you, man. You started up here like a customer, man. Hey, that's you. Like a customer. I'm a customer. I'm a customer. Let's say if you had a, um, a transsexual here, right? And you see that look like a man, but when you go travel outside, then you go see that a man put the passport and show you you are. Um, <laughs> A female, yeah. but he don't, he don't put that. He could put something else, man. He's not change anything, you know. Mm -hmm. Make no sense, man. The rule is that you change anything you want, man. Fuck it, man. Fuck the sexual, man. Fuck the homosexual. Is it the Psalms? The Psalms, chapter yeah, ninety. Man. The Psalms, chapter ninety-seven, and verse ten. That is this, this for you. This for you. This for you. This for you. You're going to slack it before you go. You're going to say if I say something that, and then you're going to get flagged. It's been a long time since hey! we got flagged. Look at God. The Psalms chapter 97 and verse 10. He that loved the Lord Yahweh hate evil. He preserved the souls of his saints. He delivered them out of the hand of the wicked. Yeah, yeah. So, so, that's what I was saying before. About the world that oh, but, but you also were speaking about, yeah, you met, so that's the hatred. It's, the scripture just said, um, ye that love the Lord hate evil, and that's that hatred that you have. You met when, when, you, when you speak about these things. So uh, if you go to that word hate, it means uh, regard with ill will to treat as an enemy. You see, so that's where this comes from, because we love the Lord, then we hate the, the abominations that we see. Yeah. You see? Uh -huh. Let's go. So um, let's go to the Isaiah 47 and uh, read it till 12. It was 11 and 12, and then we done. It's Isaiah chapter 47 and verse 11. <laughs> Therefore shall evil come 
come upon thee, thou shalt not know from whence it riseth, and mischief shall fall upon thee. Thou shalt not be able to put it off, and desolation shall come upon thee suddenly, which thou shalt not, which, which thou shalt not know. You see, so the the, the destruction and desolation is going to come from every side, man. All these nations, Russia, um, Korea, China, all of them are going to bomb America. So America is not going to know from which side it comes. You know, so all these nations are going to take a, a parable against her. You see, and she's going to sit in the dust. She's going to be brought low. Go ahead. Stand now with thy enchantments and with the multitude of thy sorceries, wherein thou hast labored from thy youth. If so be, th if so be thou shalt be able to profit, if so be thou mayest prevail. Yeah, you see, so. So, stand now with thy enchantments. So, the Most High, he's like, okay, so now, you know, he takes, he takes away the power of the left hand side. So, now he's like, okay, after he's being bombed. Of the has been bombed. Okay, so what now? You know, you don't have any power on the left hand side. I took that away. So go to your, your, your enchantments and your sorceries then, you know, which thou has labored since thy youth. Because since America is, is established, they have been dealing with these things. They have been doing things through uh, enchantments and sorceries. That's why they're the daughter of the Chaldeans, also the, the ruling class, you know, the ruling class, which are the, the Illuminati, the one one percent. You know, they set up all these things, but the Most High is going to take it all away. You see, they're not going to have these uh, left-hand side demons whispering things in their ear or telling them uh, what kind of snares and traps to, to lay. You see, so that's going to be the end all and be all for Babylon the Great, that virgin daughter of Babylon. So with that, we hope this video is edifying. And we want to say all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai, Basham Rakakodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Mill, so for teaching us the truth and who rule well. Peace and citations unto the Akim that is spread around the four corners of the earth, spreading this word in sincerity and in truth. Shalom. Shalom. Okay. 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 Okay.